my sewing needles and you know what made thimbles. me buy these these are incredible um it's they they're the closest thing to where you swipe your credit card and there was a minimum charge uh I was what? buying I was buying like a bottle of water and they were like, you need to spend at least three dollars for us to run your debit card. Uh, and I said, the boom, there's Altoids like within an inch of my hand. I will grab them. <laughs> like and that's why I'm an money. Altoids man. Brand loyal. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. Also, the guy I bought some beer for a guy, a homeless dude at a gas station. And uh, out of a fucking moment of um, weakness. Y'all got to tell me about it, man. Yeah. And now every time I go to the gas station, he's there waiting. <laughs> yeah, you fucking Remember. ruined it, dude. It's like seagulls. They let bread. him Remember. fucking sit dude. and sleep on top of where they keep all the goddamn propane tanks. And he's you know, just like, he's holed I'm, up there waiting for me to pull in. I'm a little worried because I was talking about this the other day. Oh, by the way, this is episode 91 of Four Ed Fables, okay? Yeah, I knew yeah, that. Stalt, we knew that. Okay. Yeah, I texted him earlier. I said episode yeah. 91. You ready to 91, record that we're going to record today. And yeah. this is us for Four Fables, and we're recording. But mm -hmm. I've been recently, I don't know if I will be getting an upturn in good karma. It's what I'm expecting. It's not why I did it, okay? Because <laughs> then you don't get the good karma. I didn't do it for good karma. But then after it, I started rewatching My works? Name is Earl, I'd assume. I mean, not, well, because then I think about the rules of My Name is Earl. He's definitely doing it just for good karma, and it kind of... Yeah. I think that comes into play, though, later in the series where he's like, it's why ain't it working? I'm doing it. And they're like, you're not doing it for the right reasons. Yeah, there's anyway, no such thing as a oh, selfless shit. act is what I you're went, saying. Yeah. Well, That's I went the Friends the... equivalent of My Name is Earl for Friends oh. fans out there. That well, way we're hitting a broader spectrum. My Name is Earl spectrum. fans are superior. Oh, okay. That's why I wear this. Okay, People think, oh, El Camino, you like Breaking Bad? No. I like My Name is Earl. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I like Altoids. Okay, well, Alpha and I like kicker. the sponsor of this video. <laughs> I can't remember which one it is today, but we'll put it in there. Uh, <laughs> um, right there. But uh, I post Wisdom Tooth, and that's a whole other thing I'll get into later if we want to, you know, if we were getting into some real dead air. Because uh, it's not that exciting. I woke up, my, oh, where am I? And, and then you, I went home, and then can, I did. You can extend, this is a podcast, you can extend that story 20 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes, maybe. Wow. Boom, I wake up. <laughs> Crash. Uh, what's happening? Uh, blackness turns to light. Yeah. No, I, I, afterwards, you know, you can only drink like smoothies, eat soup and shit. And I think it had been one day. <laughs> and I went out to get my door dash. And I was already a little on edge because, like, as I went for the door, the door was cracked. And I'm like, we're pretty, you know, my roommate and I are pretty, like, keep that goddamn deadbolt and the little <laughs> lock at all times, which, you know, the, one or the other. It's going to be fine. Anyway, I'm like, what's going on there? And I open up the door to grab my smoothie, and there's a guy like four feet away walking towards the door. You know, I got a little no soliciting sign. It doesn't do shit. But he walks up, and I'm like, oh, fuck. And I can't, like, it hurts to talk at this point. And I was streaming. This was, like, my first stream <laughs> day after. So, like, it I'm hurts a little to bit talk. I can't even say yeah. four words well, to this guy, but well, I'm doing an eight-hour hey, stream. I, well, dude, it's because I want to play the new Star Wars game so bad. I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't give a um, shit. Wait, so you were streaming and just going like, oh, oh, I wasn't yeah, that bad. Right? It uh, was just more like... <laughs> After like a couple hours, I'm like, fuck, I really need to stop talking and put ice on this. Cause like it just my left side was fucked up. My right side mm. felt fine after a day. Um, <laughs> but my left side was like the impacted tooth, so that's why. And I walk out there and the guy's like walking right towards the door. And you know, I'm I don't know what this guy wants. And he has a little box, like a shitty little box with about five Hershey's in it. And I'm immediately like, okay, I know what this is. This guy's gonna ask me for you know, job. buy chocolate. Yeah, it's just like a common like scam. Like, I hey, fell we're for doing that it shit. For... I fell well, for it in New York. You know, well, I, I bet I fell for it worse. York, and I'm about oh. to get there because <laughs> oh, uh, oh. I I was I bought the whole chocolate. No, I well he immediately goes into, hey man, I'm trying to sell chocolate. And he's like kind of out of it. He's like, I'm trying to sell chocolate for get ki guns out of kids' hands. We're gonna take a trip to Cincinnati next week. We're gonna teach kids about like getting off the streets. It's for a church. And I'm like, dude, I don't need the whole spiel. Like, I got you. Because my wallet was, you know, like right on the table. So I'm like, dude, and I'm trying to get back to my stream. So, you know, I'm like, fuck, I'll just give him like five bucks. Like, I don't, I don't care. And I grab my wallet. I'm like, yeah, I got you. I got you. I open it up right in front of him. 
Only money. I never have cash. But I remember, uh, I'm like, I've got cash in there, but I'm still, like, fucked up, like, mentally. Yeah. And all I had are the hundreds that Sam and Devin gave me from the casino uh. from Creator Clash. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it. Yeah. I'm not going to tell the guy no now. Yeah. Even though many people, because I immediately came downstairs and told that on stream. And everyone's like, just tell him to fuck off. Like, I don't know. I just didn't feel right. Because I already told him, like, I got you. Like, I already got his hopes up. And I was like. At that moment, I'm not doing it for like good karma or anything. I'm like, well, I'm at least gonna get. Like You're a man of your word. Seven. I'm gonna get uh, like seven Hershey's bars uh, out of this. Yeah. That's a pretty good yeah. deal for a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, wow. a man of my word. You browbed him. And I was yeah. like, ah, fuck. Here you go, man. Good luck with you know the trip or whatever. <laughs> He's like, thank you. Turns around and just leaves. I don't get a single chocolate bar. He did, like what? immediately <laughs> he took the money it. and left. He didn't see yeah, chocolate bar. Guy. Not even <laughs> one, dude. And I'm like. Oh my god, I didn't even, not even, already six chocolate bars have been like, this fucking sucks, I got ripped off. But the fact that he didn't even give me my baseline one. Did you, did you ask for yeah. it? Like, listen, well, where's my shit? He was selling chocolate for <laughs> charity. Like, no, that was his goddamn lunch his mom made yeah. him. No, yeah, I mean, mean, that was seven And then immediately bars. I was like, this guy's going to tell everyone on the fucking block I'm the biggest sucker in the world and I'm handing yeah. out $100 bills. And then, I don't know if word spread or what. Two days, oh, no, weird. two days ago, maybe three days ago. It had been like almost a week later. It's like the first time I leave the house. I go to Target. I'm grocery shopping, you know, not a great place to grocery shop. I'm already getting robbed. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. God. And But I needed some face supplies and whatnot. You know, I mean, beauty products. Yeah. And I walked through. I'm walking around, and this woman with a baby, like, she looks at me like four times. So I'm like... Am I about to get some MILF action or what? Like, why does this lady keep staring me down? And then, like, five aisles later, I walk past her, and I've got my headphones in, and I just immediately, when I walk past her, I get the feeling, like, she's following me. Like, you know, like, the, like just, you get that sense. I'm like, she's, yeah. like, I see something over here. And oh, I people turned, get that sense? And she when was, I'm following them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! They, they so know scared. when I'm doing that? Yeah. Shit. And I, I was, she was like, uh, like, hello, I'm so sorry. Like, I need money for my baby. I just was fired and, like, I need formula and diapers. Like, would, could I follow you up to the checkout and you buy me formula and diapers? I'm like... Fuck, like, I just started shopping, so now I'm thinking, like, this lady's gonna follow me around the whole street. It's just gonna be awkward, because I'm here to, like, jam out and do my stuff. But I was like, yeah, yeah, I got you. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll just give you cash. And I open up my wallet, and I still just have the other $200 yeah, bills. Yeah, that, that's about and one was, pack of diapers. I, one thing no, then I was thinking, like, yeah. well, I was like, is that all you're buying? You know, like, who am I, a fucking cops? But I, like, look yeah. in her cart, and I'm like, okay, it's literally just diapers and formula. So I just gave her a hundred bucks, and that one I like didn't feel bad about, but I was yeah. just like, I really mm. gotta break these. Like I gotta, I gotta <laughs> go to a fucking bank or something. Yeah, they look. Like That's why I didn't even want like a curse cash. now. Because yeah, like I was like, I'm gonna Dude. go to the bank. I still haven't been. <laughs> I just keep losing them. I just handing them out. And yeah. the lady, she was all, you know, like, oh, thank you so much for trying to touch me and stuff. I'm like, go oh, get, like, get that baby out of here. <laughs> She's trying to tell me hey. her baby's name and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I was acting so cool. I'm like, it's fine. It's really nothing. <laughs> it's to me. fine. It's not even like a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I spent like two hundred dollars on groceries. I'm like, God damn, oh, I really damn that hundred would have helped. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> me. So oh. it's funny you bring that up because yeah, it's happened twice in a week span, and I have one hundred dollar bill left. Not a good and, like. I'm, I'm in those situations, I had yeah. a guy come up to me that was basically like a Saul Goodman, and he was just like talking me up, I'm like we were lawyer, friends. Man. Yeah, no, he was just like a, he Smooth was a sl a slipping Jimmy type guy. Yeah, he yeah. would just sit there and like was talking to me while I was at a uh, Battery Park in New York, and he was like snake oil for sale. He was, yeah. sell he was selling me Welch's gummy bears, and oh, uh, it didn't. Well, it was hot as fuck at the time, and I hadn't had one a snack one. in some time. <laughs> yeah, and so it, they were kind of melted, but I was like, dude, I kind of want them fuckers. I'm about to hop on that ferry and go to uh, uh, Statue of Liberty. So it was like 15 bucks uh, for goddamn. Oh, my like, God. I think it was two packs of Welch's. Hop on uh, that ferry gummies. normally means something else in New York City, if you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. But. <laughs> Yeah, you get around <laughs> in the city. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. But Abby was like, "You realize you just got taken for a ride, right?" And I was like, "Fuck!" Like, I, you know, I just realized that like after the fact, I was like, "Wait, so you're telling me there's no, 
there's no kids that they're gonna the guy had the same story about getting yeah. guns out of kids hands or whatever. Yeah. well yeah i, know. I was like he ain't gonna luck, disarm dude. guns or whatever not, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy's not gonna go gun snatching after this <laughs> I'm pretty sure that guy got shot at like four times on my porch while <laughs> he's pitching me. Only he's like, "Good luck, man. Uh, whatever. Uh, I hope this hundred dollars takes a million guns away from children." <laughs> what the fuck are they going to Cincinnati for? Like, I don't even. His pitch wasn't even. That was the worst. The second worst <laughs> part besides me getting no chocolate yeah. is that his pitch wasn't even good. Yeah. And now I've rewarded <laughs> bad pitching. Yeah. I've had uh, missionaries come to my house asking for money so that they can go to like South America. So and I'm we're like, we're gonna go corrupt people with our ideas. Get out of here. No, oh, not that. It's like, South America is way more religious people than Jesus. the U.S. Oh. Like, yeah, I guess it's like so. going to like Nigeria to spread going to, like, Christianity we're going to or Uncontacted something. jungle children. Yeah. We're gonna Drop show them. A little <laughs> dropping suburbanite <laughs> kids into the Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Have you guys heard of that? Like it was a, a huge scam. I watched like a whole documentary on it where this guy, I think in England was selling basically parcels cousins. of land or some shit in like what was going to be a colony in South America right after the new world was founded. <clears throat> And oh, so this is like an old time scam. Yeah, this How is an old time like, scam. Twenty years ago? <laughs> no, no. He was he was selling like he he mm. took out like article uh, like ads in the uh, in papers and got all uh, all sorts of stuff done where he basically made it like people were talking about not just South America but this fake country that he made up. Mm. And he was like, "Do you want to buy like a parcel of land? And then in X amount of time, we'll get a ship and go over there, and you'll have." X amount of acres and everybody will be wealthy. It's super nice. The food just falls off the trees and everybody that's in like, you know, post industrial <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. <laughs> people that are in like these crowded cities and stuff. Oh, they're yeah. like, Oh yeah, let's get out of there. And so, uh, they, he ends up actually getting a ship. He's stolen all their money. Their money went directly uh. into his pockets. He buys a ship and just sends like hundreds of people to land on the shores of like modern day Brazil. And they just, they're just there in the jungle. There's nothing waiting the for them. Fuck? There's no yeah. like. There's no buildings. There's uh, nothing. Jaguars. And, yeah, yeah and there was just land. like women and children, just like on the beach. Like <laughs> what? There's no fucking <laughs> port. There's nothing. There's no city. And a lot of people died and everything. But I was gonna. Yeah, <laughs> that guy yeah, got. He fuck. got rich real quick, but then he lost it all before he. That's, you know. He what didn't did get to. Well, they they said uh, you killed a bunch of people and they took it away from them. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. It's just that like, fucking pesky government always reaching in, taking the hard the workers' cat. Yeah, they don't respect the it. book Galapagos. I have not. By Kurt Vonnegut, it's man. just like that, except for. It's nah, I don't know. I'm only like 50 pages in. Kurt Vonnegut, it's, isn't that the Slaughterhouse Five? Or? Yeah, yeah, I started reading it like. Five years ago, and it's like a hundred page book. And <laughs> oh my I'm God. about halfway right through it. But there's a big scam where they go to, hey, they're the like, fuck? the Galapagos, it's going to be awesome. And a bunch of people, are, it's like, it's going to be the tour of the century. And then, like, everyone dies. And then I think a woman starts evolving into a seal or something. Oh it's just like, it's In just pages? like that story. <laughs> yeah. I know. Most, yeah. Within 50, I was crazy. captivated. And then I got a little bored. <laughs> But that'll happen to like our down. minds with social media or whatever, just getting older. Like I remember yeah. that, that book, the Stephen King book, The Long Walk. I just finished that at the bookstore. I didn't even buy it. I just <laughs> sat down and read the entire thing. Dude, and yeah, then, I know. Yeah. And now a hundred page book. I'm I'm still at the same fucking like two pages away yeah. from the Windigoon podcast on on the Blood Meridian book that we were uh, talking about. Oh, yeah. I've read yeah. like two pages and I'm like, that's all I got time for. Oop, close it. Dude, I know it's I I feel like with books I'm more like jaded now with like when I realized I kind of just have less of like a mental image than some other people you know it's like it's still <laughs> something but I'm like yeah when I realized that people are enjoying them a lot more and they're like I I people are always like what do you think they look like I'm like I don't know what the characters look like till they make a movie okay then yeah, I'm like words. okay now they're yeah, I, I mean even uh, movies that I didn't even like and see I mean like the Harry Potter characters look like all the all the people from the yeah. Harry Potter movies, like yeah, I, think I mean, I, mean, I don't think do I have a great but like visual yeah. mind either, but I uh, I, I just, still rely on movies yeah. way more. Like once you see a yeah. movie version, it's yeah. like it takes over, for sure. 
Unless it's like Aragon or something, or it's yeah, like if they really blow the fucking movie, then you're like, I don't have to pretend that's real. Oh, but, did, yeah. did he not? Did he not live up to your version of of Strider? Uh, it's uh, no, I mean the book series Aragon. Oh, uh, about gotcha. dragons and shit. I thought you were talking about no, the no, no, Lord the, of the uh, Rings. Lord of the Rings <laughs> um, no, he loves it. I fucking love Lord of the Rings movies, as you know. I've got all these Lord of the Rings hot yeah. toys over here. No, I, I thought you were and like, love the you're books. one no, thing. I, you were like, they really I think fucked the only him character over in the where I, I'm like, the, I I, the, the only character I'm like, the book's way better is his name, Faramir, whatever, Boromir's little brother. I'm like, they could have done him a little better in the, in the movie. movies. Yeah. But maybe Boromir himself. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm Boromiring <laughs> the crowd right now with, the, with these antics. So, um,. No, I, I think we should yeah, go else? back into <laughs> movie talk. Yeah, well, we should stick on book, book talk. Time. That's a rare. We never. What about books? Uh, they are. You read them and then you're done with them and you put them on a shelf. <laughs> and what do you come back eventually? You read them again? I don't know. I, I, I never uh, reread books normally. Uh, it's something sure about are. being older. All of a sudden, I have no interest in the long form story. I don't you know, know the, what like, it is. I keep talking about those Brandon Sanderson cool. books, like because I keep now I'm like I don't read long books, but each of those are like a thousand pages, and I did read like four of them in a row. And are those those Way of Kings, pages. yeah, the Way yeah. of Kings series. I'm on. Well, I guess I'm on the third one, but okay, that's it's, pages. they're quite. That was the first time in a long time I started a book, and I've been like, okay, you know, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what's happening? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot. Uh, they really got it. They grab it. The first, like, 10 pages. This is fucking bullshit <laughs> fantasy fodder. Uh, you know, this is really lowbrow. And then you keep going. You're like. And then all of a sudden, you're, yeah. Investing. They should make this a movie. <laughs> yeah, you get this they, point. You know how they hook you on Game of Thrones? Incest. In, like, the first oh, chapter. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Overly descriptive and incest. Oh, what they're like wearing. Yeah. What they smell pushing like. children out windows yeah, and, and incest. They, they, all the, all all the, the same scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> really good. Oh, my yeah. God. Keep going back to this passage. It's highlighted. Even. <laughs> yeah. I, that and there's there's a there's a scene when Daenerys is in the desert and they keep talking about her. They're like, the more she drank. The more she shat because <laughs> she had like oh. dysentery <laughs> or something. Wait, that wasn't yeah. in the that sign the TV show. What no, the no, fuck? she's like lost robbed. down the desert in the TV show. But in the book, she just keeps shitting water and then she keeps drinking and shitting water more. Uh, I bet we I bet out. hardcore fans were angry. Yeah. Yeah, George R. R. Martin was cut, yeah. obviously like, yeah, he was loving it. He was longer. in his chair while watching that scene. Yeah. Or the editor was like, we need to cut this down by at least like 75%. Like, this is, like, this is what if a real she just has a brown it? stain on the back of her pants? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And you might as well not show it at all. She's got to look like a fucking drink fountain. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Well, yeah, he keeps talking about she's like she's like groaning and stuff and just like <laughs> shitting into the sand. I don't know. It's so weird. Yeah, it might oh, ruin a little of the you know, peel yeah. people at the end of the show. No, there's a lot of people that sat up and were like, I like her. Like immediately, like, that's she's my real. favorite. Yeah, yeah, she's real. She's one of us. Oh, and she started yeah, comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, how, yeah, how do often do you see strong female leads shitting in a very vulnerable position? <laughs> yeah. Crying and shitting yeah. and screaming, up, uh, drinking up, uh, more water, pooping even yeah. more. A warm brew. Yeah, Never this asshole. is just fueling yeah. my shit gates. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite part's the water drinking. You don't see a lot of strong female leads drinking that much water. Oh, and she's not uh, peeing it out. No, no, no. <laughs> no Never no, mentions no. her yeah, peeing once. <laughs> her ass pees. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, those those books are awesome because they just kick a little sand over it each time. Don't even have to <laughs> dig a hole like a out here. Like a <laughs> Yeah, she's yeah she's out in the desert at the time. Yeah, she's a big litter box. Oh man, yeah. Those books are great because they have like there's some stuff that's written really well, and then there's some stuff where you're just like, this is just a horny dude writing right now, yeah. and I'm reading it, and I don't fucking care because like I'm, I'm a horny dude, so yeah. whatever. I feel like I'm in George person Martin, when like, I get to those fat passages. Guy wrote like, this. <laughs> this big fat this neck beard wrote smut. this dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I read it and I go, uh, I could see why some people might not like this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but it rocks. It rocks. He's gonna Crazy die before the last one comes out, and it's gonna suck. Yeah, now that they have that that AI generated I think he apparently shit. Just f there's speculation they just finished his 
the next book he was working on. No, he he said he stopped writing. He's like, I'm not writing a single letter until AI gets out of writing. Because you know how they have that like AI generated oh. writers. No, don't make a goddamn no, stand no. at the end of your life. Why? Well, he was waiting for it. He was waiting for it. It was just an excuse, dude. He wanted it. Yeah, he just wants <laughs> to do. <laughs> Uh, he probably wasn't writing. I saw like the complete opposite the other day. So I'm gonna do a rare because I also read it uh, on like Twitter. Read it so on Twitter? No what are you talking about? He, he could be talking about writing for the show. I don't know. That's I like a poop no, joke. Talking, oh, for the Yeah, I don't know. I, for the show. Have you guys I been liking my tweets recently. lately? Yeah, your tweets are fucking insane. They're like I've been liking them. <laughs> it, it they sound Sharing. like something like a fairy tale creature would say. Just like what? the way that they're worded. <laughs> Like That's and because so cool. you, they're always followed by like a little explanation of the joke. I don't know why I keep. I noticed that too. I'm yeah. like, I can't write a tweet without immediately writing a follow tweet. They just don't give you enough space in the thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all this. It's a really long article. I don't know if it's done or not. He probably will die. Yeah, he's soon. Gonna, he looks pretty bad. He looks. Hor he's looked horrific for 20. Yeah, what, yeah, what does he look? Yeah, he looked. Rough Has he ever looked? I'm gonna look. Is there a picture of him young? Oh what, dude! That would be awesome if you look him up and he's like Marlon Brando, like 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 super young. He's like really attractive, and he just turns into an ugly old guy. I have seen this one picture of him young actually, but uh, the other two pictures of him young, he is not a handsome guy. Wait, he's been. There's a reason he's writing these long format fantasy <laughs> yeah. worlds. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't look like Marlon Brando and. And right, Game there's of Thrones. Not, not a lot of pussy out there for All right, long let me, I just, fantasy just so you know, authors. I looked up George R. R. Martin Young, and uh, yeah, no, it's uh, he wasn't shocked. All right, let's just say he, he's <laughs> he's he's he slid was, into the job nicely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. little he might look better now because back then he looked like an old young man, and now at least he looks <laughs> just like an like old an old man. man, like an old yeah. weird man, like yeah. an appropriately aged old man. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's actually yeah, developing right. quite nicely. <laughs> yeah. How fucking old is he now? He's in his 70s. Oh, shit. 74. 74? 70 wow. and that fat? Man, that guy's not done his book? Oh, he's fucking done. Yeah, he's That's done, it. dude. Average That's age, me. life expectancy, 78, I think. Is it? Yeah. Oh, and it, it took him like a decade to write the last book. <laughs> we are so <laughs> fucked. I'm yeah. gonna fucking... Is it really 78? Holy shit. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's life expectancy for males, 74.5 years. You want to hear some some real shit? Go look at the life expectancy in, like, the Appalachians. It is, is it so really high? low. Oh, okay. It is, a, okay. like, average age for a person is, like, 60-something. Let's like, low 60s. I was about to say, like, all my family, like, a lot of my mom's side, <laughs> they're all, like, Appalachian people. What, do they yeah. eat by cougars or something? No, yeah. they eat fried but, food. Yeah, they're all, like, all uh, the men are dead young. Yeah, yeah they but die. my grandma's, really like, 95, and she eats, like, chicken and dumplings every day and sweet tea. I, I, I've talked about it before, but I have no... I'm going to jinx it. I'm scared. I love your grandma. She's, like, she's too old, and she keeps... <laughs> Doctors will be like, you need to not eat this like southern fried food anymore. And she's like, you don't have to kill me. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, the she, fucking point. She does you know? not yeah. give a shit. She, my mom was just talking about her the other day about <laughs> she sleeps with a gun under her pillow, <laughs> and my mom was like worried because there's some like crackheads living by her for a while, and she's like, she is gonna kill the <laughs> hell out of anyone <laughs> that gets on her property because she's like a paranoid old like Kentucky woman and yeah she's just she stays loaded <laughs> i don't every time that she's like i'm in town they're like why don't you go stop by her house i'm like i don't i'm scared i don't want <laughs> to forget i was here yeah. to shoot me <laughs> she's so old she's gonna blast my head off or something <laughs> like she's got a big ass revolver yeah uh, my my grandparents got have you like a common uh i don't i don't even say it's a swindle but it kind of is. There's door to door like security salesmen where they, they come yeah. by and they're like, Let me let's hook you up yeah. with a whatever. Um my, they came over to my grandparents' house and my grandparents have like they have like three legitimate entrances that a person that was trying to burglarize their house would go through. Yeah. And the security guy, instead of covering those he found a series of like 12 windows that are about 15 feet off the ground. <laughs> and he's like, every one of these Big needs house. security sensor, yeah. you know? And, uh, 
they it's it's not a house. It was originally a commercial building that remember my grandpa picked oh, it up and moved yeah, it yeah. <laughs> across town. Course, so yeah. this used to be the lobby of like a dentist or something. <laughs> I don't know, but now it has it just has like windows going down it, and uh, and so they put sensors on all those. And I'm like, grandpa, you if someone's breaking in, they're not going to go to these windows. Like what Skylight, psycho, yeah. yeah, would like crawl <laughs> up the side of your house to get in there? Yeah. Oh, they're gonna go to the back of your down, house but, yeah. and they're gonna come in through your goddamn back door. And and I'm like, Do you have a sensor there? He's like, No. And I'm like, What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? And so I'm like trying to save him money. But old people are they're weird because they either become more and more just like hard headed and like yeah. stubborn, or yeah. they get scared and fearful of the world. Because they realize they're past their prime physically and stuff. Often, uh, but old mix, people yeah. are a little bit of a mix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he, uh, <laughs> my my grandpa was like, fuck. So he like calls the guy back out there and he's like, I'm trying to save them money. I'm like, you need to take them off all these windows. He's like, do the windows and all the doors. <laughs> like yeah. and everything just like wired. It doesn't matter. Where, and he has motion sensors and shit. So like you go through any door in the house and it's just like, meh, meh, yeah. front door, yeah, active, meh, yeah. meh, back door, active. Yeah. It's kind of fucking annoying yeah, if you're in and out lame. a lot, but I wouldn't mind. Well, I have well, shotguns pointed at look, every door in my house. Pip <laughs> is so fucking paranoid. I mean, you hear him all the time. Like, if there's a goddamn a leaf touches the window, he starts screaming. So <laughs> I he's our first line of defense. And then my oh, roommate's just a you big are... ass dude. Okay, so yeah. he's fine. Yeah, oh, he's okay. He's the man of the house, and then I've got my little pink gun and my taser, so <laughs> I'm back up. And your fuzzy cuffs. Yeah. yeah. I That's My room is by the so way, hard to get into now that it's the safest place in the house because I have too much shit. So the door opens like this much, and I'd like, ah! I've always thought, like, like if someone tried to dude. break in here, they would have a really fucking hard time. Dude, yeah. if you get drunk and go in there and then there's a house fire, you are fucked. Oh You're done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be buried in a pile of shit. keeps me from bringing any fat chicks home, am I right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will yeah. not bro fist to that. That's, yeah, that's fucked up. That's yeah. Fun. I'm I'm a fat chick, basically. I'm having a hard time <laughs> getting in there lately. It's just not worth it. I, I need to really rearrange. Dude, you have to give us an update on that lawn. <laughs> What's oh, that yeah. Lawn? I know you're dying to know like... about the lawn. Right? Shocking <laughs> update. My lawn's fucked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks yeah. like, looks like uh, death looks like incarnate a, a waved a his hand fish. around <laughs> and <laughs> put striped finger marks in my lawn. <laughs> it's like equal parts dead to alive now. And my roommate's been all last. <laughs> You're seeding it and preparing it. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude. It's like uh, so dead too. Like I went out there earlier and just like just crumbles the dust in your hand. <laughs> the grass blows away. Yeah, mm, and there's uh, dandelions everywhere. So it didn't even. <laughs> it didn't even do its job. It didn't even dude, do its I, job. I worked so hard to get rid of clovers out of my backyard, and I like clovers. Yeah, well, clovers. you know what? I just all of a sudden ah, came across like a, a subreddit thing where they were. I think it was like a landscaping subreddit, and they were just like. I'm planting clovers. Like clovers are better for <laughs> the soil and the environment. Well, and, too, right? Yeah, and and I'm yeah. like, I never, even, and they feel great to walk on. Like, yeah. why the fuck was I so bent out of shape over clovers? Like now, I yeah. want clovers in my backyard. I was just looking at some earlier in my yard, and I was thinking, wow, these are great. Look yeah. at these awesome little. I look, for, yeah. couldn't find a four leaf. Not my day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, dude, when I was in is. Northern California, they there was just clovers everywhere in between those goddamn redwoods. I sat there for like forty minutes. And Abby was just like, get in the car. Like, because I would watch that Mythbusters where they're like, you search a, a, like a five foot by five foot square of clovers, chances are you're going to find one because it's just a genetic defect that they, it's common. And I sat there and looked. I was just like up to my knees in clovers in every direction. And I'm sitting there like sifting through them. I'm like, there has to be, there has to be like 40 or 50 here. Like at least yeah. there's so yeah. many clovers. I think I found one once as a kid, but I have never, I, 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 I never I found, found one, one as a child, but yeah, I've never. Yeah. By the way, the four leaf clover has so the mythical work. story, but also when I was a child, that Futurama episode came out where well, he has the laminated four leaf clover. Yeah. And I remember watching that and going like, damn, I want yeah, a four leaf brother, Nancy or whatever. Yeah. I want a four leaf so. clover and like laminate it. Oh, I wouldn't have done all oh, that, but yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. I would have no, rooted at that point. I would have put it into brew. What, like, like a, a like tea? tea? Yeah, it's like a <laughs> like tea. a cauldron. Yeah, yeah like, like luck potion. potion. 
Oh. <laughs> I always thought it was sick in my mom's house. There's a big ass fireplace from like the original. The original house used to just be one room in a kitchen and a like toilet. But uh, it's just a big ass stone fireplace with a the oldest fucking metal hook ever. Perfect for putting like witch's cauldron in. <laughs> And every Halloween, there's always, like, a big old fake cauldron, like, with <laughs> stew in it and stuff. And I know what you're talking I about. I've seen those I... from, like, uh, there's this YouTube channel, the, the Townsends, out. and they, like, yeah. live in the 1700s but today, and they just make YouTube videos about it. They yeah, always have, like, like, like <laughs> cooking, like, here's a stew recipe from the 1700s or whatever. Sweet, and they, yeah. they always have, like, the little hook that comes out. I wish badass. You see those places that do, like forever stew yeah like they just keep cooking it forever yeah. i wish oh yeah <laughs> my mom would kill herself if she had to maintain a forever <laughs> yeah. stew she's got way too much on her Dude, plate that to sounds fill up a bowl stuff. with that but yeah they like, sound awesome hilarious. but how do you not get yeah. like i guess if the temperature remains over yeah, constant uh, yeah but uh, i would be scared that temperature dipped a little bit you yeah. know uh, oh yeah, fuck! Like, I forgot fuck? it's, it's <laughs> piping cold I gotta, yeah. yeah i don't know piping cold my mother is an uh, she's uh, an astronaut, ambassador's wife. Oh, yeah, ambassador's she's, wife. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. she's doing very this well. This is a she's fictional story. Affluent. You couldn't have given your mom a cooler thing up. besides being cool. the lady that fucks an ambassador, an accomplished <laughs> yeah. person. Um, not bad, ambassador. Because <laughs> I've been watching woman, Succession no. lately. Yeah, <laughs> play for. She's ambassador. like an important person's like concubine or something like that. She's a yeah, cool lady. My dad's <laughs> a real cool one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, my mouth is incredibly dry, and I've ran out of Altoids. I'm gonna go get a Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I think those you are probably making those? your mouth drier. What Altoids? Yeah. No, they're making my breath smell this. <gasps> it's minty. <laughs> no, it's minty, dude. <laughs> Too minty, but they, they're keeping my mind sharp because I okay, ate like good. 15 of them. Well, they'll stomach sober hurts. you up. Yeah, yeah <laughs> stomach hurts so bad. You can drink all night as long as you pop a couple of those. Shit, like What's five up? times today. Oh wait, this is kill. I thought that said fucking kit. First, I thought it was the fucking SS, and I thought it was kiss. Now it says kill what? What does that say? Kill SS? Bill. You thought I had an SS shirt? Yes, no, I really genuinely thought. Oh, what? kill it's Bill. Kill Bill. Kill Bill. It's oh a kill my Bill God. Shirt. She's like, volume one. The sword. That's yeah. A good volume. Oh, That's man. the best one. Volume two feels like it's rushed, you know? It does, like it's weird because he spins so, Sorry. like. Spends so much killing one person, and then it's yeah. like, all right, here's the rest. Bloop, on for the. Him. Yeah, the second one, the pacing's really fucked up. Yeah. But he had intended to kind of release them as one movie, and then the studio was like, you're not releasing like a six-hour-long movie, you <laughs> psycho. You need to cut more ass. out. Yeah. But uh, Tar Tarantino also got, he got boned on, I think, Django. I think Django had like this Django. huge side story going on Django with- Django rocks, uh, though. I, think. I didn't- It's a good uh, movie. No issues with the pacing or amount of shit in it. Yeah, I'm curious what yeah. the side story was. Oh, the side story was that the there was like a lady that they just show randomly and she has like a, a handkerchief over her mouth and she kind of she was like Melania the Melania from Mortal Kombat or whatever. She basically, yeah. Rocket teeth. Sure. Yeah, she, she no, she had like no lower jaw, I think oh. is what it was. Oh god. Is is what the backstory? Story? That's what the backstory was. She was the leader of the people that had the like the gang of dogs. That they used to tear apart the escaped slave, uh, yeah. the runaway slave, and, and they were she supposed was just to have another like mini she, boss. Yeah, she was going to be like just some bad lady. I don't know. Oh, and uh, no, the, I think her backstory was she was supposed to know Broomhilda from back in the day before um, she lost her jaw, and they were supposed to be like friends or something like that. Um, maybe to make a link between arguably one of the more evil characters and the Broomhilda. I don't know. I have no idea what the the purpose was. Oh, I really so. wish they would have kept that. Yeah, yeah, no, there's probably like there is some point. shit in Tarantino's movies where I'm like, that could have <laughs> oh, gone. Twenty minute uh, foot scene or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no, those can stay in. Selma those Hayek. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, keep that. Maybe even longer. Yeah, I'm, I'm close. The, <laughs> We've talked about that before. I saw a tweet blow up that was the exact same thing where it's like Tarantino, known yeah. guy with foot fetish, writes yeah. a scene where Selma Hayek shoves her toes into his mouth. Is, I mean, yeah. yeah, it's like I can't <laughs> so make fun awesome. of shit like that because 
I see Channel. tweets like that every once in a while. They make fun of like this person self inserted them like their own yeah. f- fetishes into the. Like, <laughs> I would so be doing the Adam Sandler route where it's like I'm with all my friends and I'm banging a supermodel <laughs> and she's hot as hell and I'm a bum and all my friends are here and we are in Paris. <laughs> so like we are at a very beautiful location. This movie takes place in Bora Bora. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's always. <laughs> I mean, it's not always, but a lot of times it's some ridiculous, beautiful place and all the chicks are babes and they all kind of look like creatures, like Adam Sandler and his goons. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I like I, I've never had an issue with it because I'm like, that's yeah, I'd love to make a movie like that. Yeah, That'd but that's a, that's a little bit more like uh, these are good times. Yeah, but the, like, yeah, I just the, want to have a good time. Making one movie. is yeah, a little guy, more like, like sexual toes. deviance. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Imagine like the balls to not o- like it's one thing to do something like that in the moment. You know, like I, I feel like sexual deviancy is something like a lot of a lot of people that that I guess commit it are it's in the moment type thing. But this guy not only wrote it, but then casted people for it. Did like this yeah. is like the set. All yeah. right, I want the lighting here for you know some eyes. You know, it legs. wasn't a one take either. No, it this fucker. Like it went through like months of prep and everything. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, you gotta get the lighting right on that. Yeah. Oh. Make sure, oh. yeah, go through her toenail polish <laughs> catalog or whatever. Make sure they're looking good <laughs> for me. I blink. We're gonna have to do it again. I'm <laughs> yeah. God damn. Oh, fuck. Did my erection get in the shot again? <laughs> yeah. He's like slipping hundreds to the anyone, boom mic guy. I, I don't yeah. get where. Drop the mic in the frame every scene. Yeah. We'll keep doing retakes. Uh, I'll put you in Kill Bill 3, dude. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just, like, I don't get where foot fetishes come from. If you're a viewer with a foot fetish, please tell. Uh, like, what do you think psychologically kickstarts? It's maybe not you even You know what that, it is? Do you I, want me what? to tell you? Yeah. <laughs> I've studied okay. them for at length. I'll, okay. Oh, wait, fetish or feet in general? Feet, feet fetishists. Okay. Yeah, I've studied You're them. Sick. Yeah, I've studied You're them. You're one of them, aren't you? Oh <laughs> I, my god. I've studied them at length. I know what's I going on. One out of in every mind. three people. Is, Is it? it really? No. no, no. I'm saying oh it. my god. <laughs> one of us. It's one of us. <laughs> Is it the guy pretending yeah. he doesn't like it? Is it the guy yeah. admitting that he likes it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's don't all know. smoke. Yeah, it's all mirage. Smoke I really don't get it. What is yeah. psychology behind someone like that? How do you make yourself have it? How do I get it? <laughs> I don't, I don't. Uh, no, I, th- right I think now, what it I- is is it's just like people tell you like that's gross. Don't do that. And people like doing. People like breaking rules. And that's go all it is. further because it's no one's like you can't like feet, you know. But they're yeah. like. Then it's like, well, no, that's that's get, why it's get, fucking get like lame. Honors. People go immediately past that and go into anal because they're yeah. like, anal, you're not supposed to do anal. That's an exit only. It, uh, no. I don't know if anal's past having a foot fetish. I think I'd really. You put your weenie in a butt. I feel yeah, like yeah, anal I mean, is I, probably more practiced than foot sex. Is that's practiced. what true. I'm I don't get. How do you? No, I, I'm like, saying more people just skip foot fetishism because it's like that's. Fucking oh weird. no, and I was yeah. saying I don't think anal's past in the levels of like weirdness, sexual variation. Yeah, like de- deviating from the norm. I don't think anal's weirder than. I than think feet. having a foot fetish is a weirder thing to have. You can't. Yeah, you can't really put your penis in a foot. You can't come from times, getting your feet fucked. Uh, yeah, some I mean, people can. Yeah, I don't get no, that. No, you can come fucking someone's feet, but the there is not a single person out there that's like, oh, fuck my Dude, feet some harder. I'm about come to come by not oh, touching their penis. They can just come with their mind. I bet you could. There's definitely. a lady out there that can <laughs> like come lines. from getting their feet fucked. The humans are yeah, awesome. Well, it's like, when they, when they, I want to like, It's like, it's like, a a, like titty, like having like. I haven't found like, that in my research. Like, bank, like tit sex or whatever, you know, giving someone a little, a little titty sex. Whatever it's called, boob, boob busters, boob job. yeah, boob job. It's not like that can't be. They're always like, oh, oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you're you, not really. Like, this is not for you. Yeah, that you don't, you don't sound like that when you give me a hand job. Yeah. Don't even act like this yeah. is better. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it's like. I mean, not like. <laughs> I mean, like I jerk off. Like, yeah. am I? I'm not getting. <laughs> 
like it's not the act. <laughs> I'm not walking out of this. One. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna say shit. I'm just gonna let you keep talking. Yeah, You're doing yeah, a good yeah, job yeah, on your keep, own, dude. I mean, keep talking about this. It's not like when I titty fuck him. <laughs> <When I, laughs> I've done it before. When, when, when I put when a big juicy thing in these. Yeah. Uh, what the hell's with all this locker room talk, dude? We're Sorry, supposed to, we're, is this supposed to be an accessible podcast? I'm trying, yeah, guys. I just don't get. I, I this is supposed to be for like, everyone. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what we're talking I got about kids now. There, we like, can't talk feet. about stuff okay. like this now. I yeah. Still, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but have you guys seen I, prolapses? Anal prolapses? That's a whole yeah. fetish. I don't see that's, that. Yeah. Looks like a fucking. There's no yeah, pleasure. You know where anybody. Yeah, no, I don't get that either. You're right. Because I'm so quick to be like, I don't get foot fetishes. Because I just like personally find feet gross a lot of times yeah. you know it's like the other direction <laughs> but i don't really get any of them and a lot of people have them so it's like it's not you know i don't think they're inherently a evil have feet? no or... a lot of people have fetishes oh yeah where it's like some weird specific thing and it's like as long as it's not like hurting someone or a legal fetish well sometimes you hurting know, is part of it as long as it's Hurt. not hurting someone without them being involved you know like it's, it's, oh it's, like what about like consensual a- non-consent? Are you into that? Have you ever heard of that? I'm trying to break down that. Are you saying like it's a, a like rape, rape fetish. scenario? Yeah, like rape it's role play, right? Yeah. Are you asking if I'm into that? No, I'm saying <laughs> no. Like, you have a problem with consensual non-consent. If both parties are into it, I'm not gonna. They're not well. One oh, party's not to be, one party's not into it. That's the point. But they are into it, right? <laughs> yeah, but they are. Yeah. Into they it. are, but the they will not tell you that they're into raped. it. Yeah. Okay, because there's a well. That's the point. definitely a difference, though. Because it's like uh, yeah. the, Where's this But going? don't oh, highlight but... the difference because that takes the allure out of it. Is what I've been told. I don't know. By I, who? Think that, who told I you find that one to be one of the more maybe despicable of the. Yeah, like I think that definitely goes up way past. Like <laughs> yeah. I like feet. I like sucking on feet. What do you There's think? Just so a you weird... think a foot fetishist is worse than a rapist? <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't think <laughs> or rape, not as bad. The, 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 or a fake that rapist. That one's as bad though as anal. Like you were saying, yeah. I think anal's even further <laughs> yeah. uh, past that. But no, I, yeah, that I don't know. I like to. You know what? I'm gonna take myself out of it because I'm not involved in these crowds. Have you seen the, that video? The guy that puts that woman in a little cage and puts her in the floor like puts her yes. in like a la- it's yeah, like yeah, I've seen that. latex suit no, okay and like, that is ah, truly a that's a fetish that is just like i feel like that's experiencing shit in a non-sexual way like why does that have to be a sexual fetish why i feel like, feel like a cool thing no i just feel, yeah i feel <laughs> like a little hole if you said to me like dude what if i made like a perfect box to like fit a person into and you like contort in there and we see how small of a space you could get into be like, that's who like the flunking. fuck? Yeah, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, who the fuck would immediately go like, let's make this like a coming thing or something? Like, did you did you see on Twitter recently too that cube that people yeah. were like, this is actually very it's like, like a vacuum ceiling yeah. thing. Yeah, the, he's what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I got a vacuum sealed like cube torture box. <laughs> like a little and action figure. The, in there. The yeah, it's it basically like, hermetically sealing an action <laughs> figure. Yeah. Like they're yeah. like a and, weird. And they've got a little breathing <laughs> tube, and they're like. Ooh, ooh. And everyone's <laughs> like, this is actually very docile in the world of fetishes. Like, I don't know why people are freaking out. I'm like, that's the most you don't insane know, thing. No, people are there. They have to be playing because there's no there. way that. No, there's this, people this that are genuinely like, well, bro. it's like, this is really like, elementary. It's like, really, you yeah. have a goddamn, yeah. what were they using? A vacuum there's to like. There's barely any shit. There's like industrial equipment it. needed well, to do that vacuum. shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I that know. ain't a regular, they're not hooking a Hoover up to that thing. That guy's suspended in a vacuum. That has to be. That's another thing, like though. Where it's like, if it wasn't a that. sexual fetish thing, but why is it sexual? <laughs> because they're getting know. a little boner in the latex. I don't know why. Dude. I don't know why. I'm not a psychologist. Like if, I don't know why. Brian was like, "Dude, check this out. We can like, I can give you an air tube, and we can like shrink wrap well, you." That's what I'm saying, if it was I would just, be like, like a cool, yeah, thing cool to do. I'd be like, I'd see it. Yeah, yeah you know, cool. I'd watch be cool. it. But I, cool. but but not the way that one looked. I gotta show Brian the picture because I guarantee if I tried to buy that to try it out, it's gonna say all sorts of like coming chambers, sexual suction. I feel like I'd fucking. I probably have a panic attack. Yeah, I. I, I would I too. Yeah, I wouldn't think that's cool at all. The the one oh. that the one 
not the suction one, but the one you were talking about before where the guy puts her in the floor. Stall, yeah. Find a, a clip of that because there's no nudity. All it is is the a lady. The floor. Okay, yeah, it's a lady in like Brian, a PVC thing. The one, though. And he like puts her into the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. That one has two people in it, though. That's a different one. That one has people like... Ew, wait, oh. look at these ones. They're actually like... They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're fucking. They're, you know what this is? This is what? like the closest you can get can to move? being frozen in carbonite. Like in yeah, Han Solo. No, okay. like, that cheese. Is... When I said I don't get the sexual part no, of it... No, okay, I know the one... With the, the woman other one's in there with one you. Guy. Yeah. yeah, the guy yeah, fucking somebody. By himself, but now he's got... It's people boning that are completely <laughs> suctioned up in this thing. But they, they're not... Are they even boning? They're like statues. They're not... That's true. There's not a lot of thrusting that can be done in there. Yeah, Imagine they just how long the you can last in a and By the way, I stand thing. corrected because it looks like they just have a shop vac connected to this thing to pull the yeah, air out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it looks very they... doable. It's probably like 20, 30 bucks worth of stuff in there. You know, what do you think? What if you don't doing? let them out? Yeah. Just it's... rob them. Yeah, who's like letting that, him that up? woman that got put in the ground, and then the guy's a perfect carpet cover yeah. that goes over it, oh, and then he moves furniture scary. over it. That's yeah. what I was gonna say I before. Like I've that's a it. different I've level. That. Yeah, that's of, fucking nuts. I would just feel helpless and paranoid. Okay, yeah. I see the sexual part now. And then you'd get now. a little. Yeah. And then you'd be like, I'm helpless. I'm like at your whim. What if he? Yeah, but he then once again, I don't what if he puts you into the ground while you're down there? No, but it's different the guy, strokes. The guy that's putting the lady in the ground, he ain't a young dude, right? What if he puts her in the ground, puts the rug over, moves the thing, and then she just hears him oh. have a heart attack? Yeah, well, just yeah. that's oh. like that movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> falls over. I almost said Ender's Game. It's not Ender's it's Game. It's Ger was it Gerald's Game or something? There's a horror movie by the guy, what's Mike Flanagan, that did. Uh, he's a great horror director. Um, like he's the one that did like Haunting a Hill House, like one of my favorite shows. Uh I haven't seen this movie, but there's a movie where the whole thing is like he takes his wife out to this like cabin where they're about mm -hmm. to have a bunch of like sexual, you know, it's going to get crazy. And he handcuffs her to the bed and then he's like, oh, and has a heart attack and dies. <laughs> it's on Netflix. And then she starts like, uh, and then it becomes a horror movie. Like she starts having, I think, just like hallucinations and shit about huh. like creatures in the house and weird stuff. But yeah, it's like. They're out in the middle of fucking nowhere, and then he immediately dies. Like, yeah, if yeah. you were in that hole in the ground, it's even worse. <laughs> yeah, that would, there's no yeah. chance of anybody yeah. coming by. Yeah. Uh. Wait, check under that couch, under the carpet, <laughs> under the rug. There might be a woman in there. Yeah, Dude, you're, they you're probably yeah, wouldn't find you fuck. until you start stinking. Like, even then, it'd be yeah. like, where's that smell coming? They probably yeah, got to like no, four new owners. Could be in the where house, the rug so. is. Yeah, the table. <laughs> could, could be under that little circular carpet. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> nope, it's just a little metal top. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like a mechanism that like, <laughs> like lifts her out. Uh, I yeah, know, yeah. Th those people, mm. by the way, put way more effort into just having their sexual adventures than I do. Like child proofing my house and yeah, like, like, like than anything do i do it. like there's yeah. a part of my house that desperately needs a retaining wall because there's some serious erosion happening to the foundation yeah. and i look at it and go eh, i'm not gonna <laughs> but this guy's just like i really want to put my wife in the floor like that is an insane <laughs> Maybe amount of work. i have some insane <laughs> fetishes that i just don't have the effort put in to discover like what if yeah. i've got something out there that makes me come more than anything yeah and it's like being like tied to a tree and then like felling the tree like what if some like there's something out there <laughs> like, like, up at the like a, yeah. yeah they yeah. cut the tree Timber. and you fall boner first and yeah. then it's the crap oh, oh. <laughs> i don't know i mean there's just weird like who would ever thought getting put in a little hole in the carpet's gonna make you horny <laughs> yeah. yeah i wonder if she gets her full satisfaction or if that's like foreplay yeah no, yeah like, what now you, like, you may enter me now yeah. that you have put me in the ground in the floor, when I get out of here. Or whatever the yeah. Fuck, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, hmm. It's yeah. quite interesting. Maybe we can have Don Tony on again sometime and he can be like, guys, this is not I remember my, it's, it's weird because TV. Don Tony, like, you ask him questions about sex and he just doesn't know. He's like a therapist that doesn't get pussy or something. Yeah, I guess he's not like, like a sex the therapist. Yeah, we ask him questions. He's like, what the hell? Like, your penis gets mm -hmm. hard? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> I, I'm just as confused as you. <laughs> like he never understands what the hell we're talking about. Yeah, I think it's just maybe a different specialty, but 
Or he's yeah. a fraud. He might. I think he's no a fraud. pussy. Yeah, he gets no pussy. He gets no ground <laughs> pussy. All buried in the ground. <laughs> He, yeah, he, you can tell that guy does not guy live the subterranean put, life. He's never put it's a woman in a contraption. Never. If you've never put a woman in not, a contraption, I don't want your sealed, fucking opinion. Even, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, have you guys Some seen that, that bicycle or something that's like the woman <laughs> is the fucking like front spokes uh, of it? That's, that's some like Japanese shit, isn't it? That? That's the Japanese stuff? Or when they like turn them into like go-karts and race yes. each other and yeah, stuff? There, yeah, there's like <laughs> women that are turned into vehicles that they can ride them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. badass, honestly. I, I, What's more degrading, <laughs> being turned into a vehicle they... or being turned into a like Minecraft block of living room floor? <laughs> I What's think a the more degrading is, experience? Yeah. I don't know. I think just becoming part of the home is worse. Because if you're a vehicle, you can get out there. Yeah. Just, you can see I mean, stuff. You can feel the, 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 yeah. Yeah, the open it's road like, flowing like through your latex. Yeah. See, you, can so, wait, you, you can like <laughs> nod to the other fucking car woman that's yeah. like next to you. You know the <laughs> shit like on old timey ships where they have like the mermaid on the front of the ship? Like the yeah. mask like yeah. sticking out? Like putting a woman, a real woman there would be quite erotic. Uh, oh. For the right man, the right, you know. Oh, hey, we talked about Game of it. Thrones earlier. They put a fucking pregnant woman on the front uh, of. They like crucify her on the, the front of a that ship. Dude's definitely in the got a lot of fetishes. Yeah. Yeah. He's writing all that shit. Yeah, he's busting a load of that. You must know, have been he been smoking reefer and jerking off. Oh, while he's hella, that. hella reefer, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you hate when people say that? Like, reefer? were, were you How high when you made that? You must have been so high. You, uh, that's just like the quickest way to like be like you are the least creative person like or if you show a friend a movie and the whole time they're like what were they smoking when they made this it's like dude it's just fucking like an absurd movie for the, instead of the whole point what were they was it crack was it, dude, was it crack? you know like ever, ever you since i started this. smoking they're literally on pot, some drug, like be, like i always had like a a like a wheezy laugh, but now that I yeah. smoke, people are just like, "Oh, Sam's like he's got the white, he's high as shit." You can still tell. Still he's still on her laugh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's just fucking dope out of his gourd. Like all those, like, like right you, now, you're talking about like those crazy tweets, like a pet, like a medieval, <laughs> but, like those are all stone cold sober, like in the shower. I'm like, that'd be funny. Just like thinking, when I'm high, I'm not like a cri I'm I sit there and I go, Ugh, just, uh, that's not when good tweeting mind comes yeah, together. I, yeah. I watch fail comps on my couch. I don't yeah. like. I'm not like Eureka. I, I'm, I'm gonna work on my next masterpiece. No, I'm immediately. Okay, what kind like, of fail comps are you talking about? Do you do like? Yeah. I don't. Want, okay, well, I do I you actively know the actual... avoid the number one thing that I avoid. When it's late at night or if I'm like inebriated in any way, I do not like it when people have like bones broken. Yeah, no, I don't. Or okay. like get hurt. Well, like see, the, then you would not want to. I found the best way to get those types of videos on YouTube is to put the keyword brutal in front of fails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> brutal it's fail. like, like my friends are like college, skateboarders falling always, and we just on Samsung you know. TV, they have Balls like their down. own channels, like built in like their cable yeah, yeah. and one of them is just fucking fail army tv so in college i've had this tv since like sophomore year of college we just throw on like fail army tv if people are coming over you know you can watch and be like, Duh. and i have this one friend that he's i always thought like fail army is too tame even though i don't like seeing people break their bones and shit but i'm like it'll be like a fail of like a baby falling over and like he like it's giggling i'm like that's not really a fail and I have a friend that is obsessed. We go anywhere. We go to someone else's house. We'll be like, guys, guys, like, let me throw this on real quick. He just puts Phil Army on anywhere. <laughs> it's like fucking <laughs> so... It may, he knows it makes everyone mad, so I think he does it even more. But like, anytime we're like trying to think like what movie should we watch? He's like, okay, until we think of something. Like, Phil Army. Always take Fail the Army. remote and be like, Phil Army. <laughs> and then eventually we're like, these are not enough. So we start watching brutal fail comps. And then it's like... Just enough where it's like, ooh, but not enough where it's like people dying because it's on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. But there is a lot where you're like, that guy's arms eviscerated. Like, yeah. it's broken in like 50 ooh. spots. Yeah. But I don't really, yeah. When I, and then I eventually you're going to be I'm off right. YouTube and you're going to be looking at Chinese industrial no. accidents. No, see, that was shit like <laughs> yeah. my friends would always probably when we were in like elementary. FPS and it's a guy yeah. leaning over a vat and then all of a sudden 
all that's left are just two legs standing there. I, I, the rest I really of hate the fucking machine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, We've fuck. talked about this before. Like, I, I hate watching like live leak shit. Because I mean, a lot of friends, you know, it's like the thing to do when you're a kid is like, yeah. you know, it's like the dawn of the internet. Like, you know what's weird? Like, is I can watch- I can watch them if it's instant. If I can tell it's instant, I'm like, there's no I just problem. Don't like, it's I like, just, it's not that I can't watch them. I just would rather I, not. I just yeah, no, no, like no. I, I get that, but like the unease and the anxiety yeah. I get is, it's not there. If it is like one of those Chinese industrial accents where like I'm like, laser that guy did, in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like vaporize, like that guy's just yeah. red mist. There's nothing. It's not bad, but yeah, if no. there's any amount of time and suffering, I'm like, nah, that's it. Does not it's feel good like in my tum tum. The fragility yeah. of a human life. It's so scary yeah, sometimes when scary. you watch it like that. I'm like, the preciousness of it all. The the whole human experience coming <laughs> down to like this guy did a really bad skateboard trick. <laughs> yeah, now his head's backwards. Like I, I watched my know, kid just, fall down seven stairs today, and like the whole time I was just like, that. they can just fucking. <laughs> You counted each step, I, No, man. if it you was would, me, if it was me yeah, falling was like, the exact same way, guy fall. you guys <laughs> would all of a sudden not get a paycheck on the 6th, and you'd be calling, and you'd be like, where the fuck's Sam down. at? Is he Abby. gone? Yeah. 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 You, we do need to have, like, a backup set yeah, of communication need to in get case... a hold of Abby in case... In, in, in case I fall apart. Discord. When. Yeah, when I fall <laughs> apart. <laughs> but no, like, she she fell just face first, and her fucking head and neck just took the weight on each step as oh she went God. down. <laughs> and then she got up at the bottom and went... Ah! And I go, oh my god, are you all right? And then she saw Madeline playing with the chalk, and she was like, "Put me down. I want to go play with chalk." No. <laughs> and I was like, "Dude, I would have been at fuck? the bottom of that yeah, steps an hour crazy. from now." What just is made laid rubber, there. dude? What the fuck? My, yeah, my, yeah, there's when playing like MW two. I don't know. It was like fifth or sixth grade. <laughs> my bedroom used to be in the basement at my dad's house, and my little brother once I was like on the on a call with like my friend Will. And we're like, you know, like, oh yeah, get some, get some. And I'm like, no! And uh, he fell down like 20 stairs, but they're carpeted. But it was still like a long, like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom. Yeah. And he just like, whoa, whoa, rolled down him. And I was like, my brother fell. <laughs> and my friends were like cr- dying laughing. They're like <laughs> cracking up. And then they like, I remember my friend told me. How sister, old was your brother? He was probably like four or three. Uh. <laughs> and they, they told his sister and i was like you guys shut the fuck up like this is serious and afterwards you know he's fine but i'm like don't laugh don't laugh and i got back and they were they would like razz me for it at school and stuff be like your brother <laughs> fell down the stairs yeah like, he could have been seriously hurt and yeah, it's you, still yeah. something like to this day where like they've never seen my little brother really <laughs> like they've seen him like twice in his life but they'll always be like uh, remember when he fucking almost died and fell down the stairs it's like so funny to them uh, yeah, kind of remember, funny, but it's remember like, my grandpa I mean, that, had a heart okay, attack yeah. and was gonna die, and I had to leave that league game. Yeah. And then you guys reported me for AFK. <laughs> yeah, I, well, that's brutal. Yeah, I got a I got a call, and they were like, "Hey, your grandpa's dying. You need this." Is the, like my mom just told me on the phone, like right then. She's like, "This is it. Like, yeah, Henry's gonna die. You need to come oh, to the hospital." The final and I was like, I was just like in shock, and I was like, "I gotta go, guys," and I leave. And I come back and they're like, we, it, it said like, you've been reported, you reported for AFK. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I saw and we all them. And, and they, they all told reported them to me. Report. The other they team were like, yeah, the guy left to yeah, report yeah. him. Like, yeah. Yeah. Everybody fucking reported me, gave me no <laughs> slack, and then shit on me for it later. Like, dude, we lost that, by the way. Yeah. We had it yeah. in the bag. Yeah. And we, yeah uh, just yeah. because the boy who cried heart attack. Yeah. Get over <laughs> yeah. it, dude. Like, yeah, he's fine, by the way. Yeah. By the way, he was the boy that cried heart attack. He had had, like, I don't know how many of those calls I've had where it was like, this is it. Like, he, you need to come pay your respects because he's going to die. But he's, like my old ass grandma. Yeah, like, he's like goddamn yeah. Steve Austin. Like, they keep, like, rebuilding him better. And they, <laughs> yeah. they kept sending him out with these weird, like, heart defibrillators <laughs> and shit. Yeah. Laser eyes. Battery packs in his uh, back pocket and shit. He's got, like... Weird Good monitors fucking. all over him. And then, um, <laughs> you know, always like going in for stints and stuff. And sometimes they would tell me, that, like, you don't want to go in there. Like, you don't want to see him like that because he's got like mouth tubes in. I'm like, oh, if he's like that, uh, he's not going to make Lives another 10 years. I'm like, what God. the fuck? What like, are you doing? At this point, yeah. But then he had gotten so old where when I got the calls and they're like, this is it. You need to come pay respects. So I was like, 
now he's like eighty something. He's like eighty five. Yeah. Like you're getting to the age. The odds. Uh, yeah, the I, odds are pretty up there. I agree. And it wasn't. Keep... Thankfully, oh, by the way, he didn't die that time. I got reported. Yeah. He lived. Yeah, he lived on once again for. <laughs> He was like doing a perpetual fall for like twenty years, dude. He was God. doing like a that constantly stumbling me. in yeah. and out of the hospital for like my entire childhood. God damn! I, I don't even yeah. want to be around if that happens. <laughs> my grandma keeps doing the perpetual fall in that like once a year she falls down and breaks like five bones. Oh my god! And then she has to go to like rehab and stuff, and they're like. She's not going to be able to get around anymore. Like, someone's going to have to live with her. And she's like, I don't want anyone living with me. Yeah, she's and like, fuck after you. Like, yeah, a couple months, it's like, Grandma fell and she broke every bone in her body. <laughs> and, like, she has, like, bird bones. She is, like, <laughs> I, like, help anytime I'm around her, like, you know, for good karma, I help her walk around and stuff. Yeah. And she, I feel like I could fucking just, like, <laughs> woo, woo, like, toss her up in the air. <laughs> she's got to be, like, 80 pounds soaking wet, like. She's tiny. She's really her tiny. Fucking ear, she just falls in. My yeah. grandma's like insanely dense, and she's she does that. She does this annoying thing dense. where she's like she wants you to like help her, but she gives you no like. It's like she picking plants. up. She, yeah, she, she bags it. Yeah, she, 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 yeah, she really just like does oh, not like help you at now. fucking yeah. all. <laughs> like, come on, lady. Like, help me here a little bit. What a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. My grandma's not a bitch. She's like, don't help me. And I'm like, come on, I will. And she's like, yeah. okay, I love you. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I, I have a weird relationship with that grandma, though. Because it's like, you know, some people are just so old and so different. Like, my grandpa I was cool with because he had some, like, we had some crossover. Like, he liked video games and stuff. Yeah. And then my other grandma was, like, a third parent, basically. Like, she helped raise me and would always take me to stuff. But, like, this grandma... This sounds horrible. Like, I love this woman, but I don't really know much about her. And every time I talk to her, it's like, you are like the oldest woman in the world. And we do not have a lot of crossover besides yeah. that we love each other for being family. But she's always like, like she just she's a little kind of like old Kentucky woman. Like, we really I, don't. We just, she's just like, well, what's going on? Like, what's going on with you? Like, yeah. if I tried to explain my job to her, my other grandma's like, well, I don't get it, but I, you know, whatever. This grandma would be like, what? Like, I don't know. Like, she would what, be adamant, man? like, explain it better. Why? Yeah. Dude, I got my grandma a smart TV and that broke her mentally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> she was like, what? <laughs> like, Talking to me. What the yeah, hell? she was, she's used yeah. to just turning on the TV and like a TV show is like there from cable. Yeah. I'm like, it doesn't work <laughs> like that anymore. I'm sorry. That's gone. Yeah. Uh, but I know what you mean. And it, I, yeah, I don't want to disparage, I guess, like, it's, it feels Especially awful like too. old grandmas, but they come from an era where I think this might explain it. Correct me if I'm wrong, people they're out there. The audience will always correct us. Um, but they're they're ladies that were they never had like jobs or anything. They just were like stay at home moms. They they never really had a chance to like develop a personality yes. of their own. Really, my and grandma. So, my grandma's just a like a. She had a pretty cool job, but. Sorry. Oh well, what would she do? Uh, well, her parents owned hey, the coal mine where my grandpa oh. worked, and <laughs> then when she married him and got disowned, she worked at a factory in Indiana and did pretty decent there. It's like a. I don't want to say it because it's. I don't know somewhat doxing, but it's like. Even saying what I'm about to say somewhat doxing, so I won't. But she worked at a cool place, and That's cool. she did pretty well for herself. And my grandpa died quite a while ago and she like kept a job for a long time she's like that's the part that sucks is like all the stories my mom tell of her she's like this badass like take no shit woman but now she's yeah. it's like with me i think she also knows like we don't gotta like her. like she my mom speaks so highly of her and it, it sucks because my mom like wants me to look at her like that but i'm like yeah. i just wasn't there like we haven't yeah. spent a lot of time yeah. together yeah. And when I talk to her now, she's just very old woman. And yeah. so it's like yeah. hard for her. It's for like, I, it seems like I have like an apathy towards her, but I don't. Mm -hmm. It's just like, we just are not as close as a lot of other people in the family. Cause don't you, know, don't, just, you don't, you don't see her. We don't really need yeah. that though. Like we're reacts. cool. Like we're, you know, she's always like, she calls yeah, me whatever. Sam boy. <laughs> she's uh, always like, cool. oh, Sam Dude, boy. There's a guy in my family that communicated with me. His, most communication he did was he would come in and like 
he would put his hand on top of my head and then thump his hand. Oh. And he'd be yeah, like, boom! <laughs> and then Why? he would walk away. And I'd be like, hey, Joey. <laughs> that was it. That's it. <laughs> that was the extent of it, dude. I knew that what guy liked fuck? fishing, and he liked smacking he me on top of the head. head. Yeah. yeah. And some that was basically it. it. Like, there's some, there's some people out there where it's just like, you know, you have uh, a them. mutual kind of, <laughs> you're, you're there, buddy. Yeah. You know? Acknowledged. Dude, right. Okay, you know the fucking... I oh I just remember that I saw this in like Sopranos or it's sort of like a Rat Pack thing or something that like have you ever heard someone say like what do you hear what do you say yeah yeah my step grandpa um, Vertigo that, gaming no. what do you, the, what do you say? yeah what do you, you say my step grandpa is kind of a a dick and we have like our own shit but like when I was a kid he'd always he always start every interaction with that like what do you hear what do you say and as a kid, like, I took it like this autistic, literal, like, I, I, I never, I didn't get the reference. So I was yeah. like, wait, uh, you're telling me as a kid, you didn't know who yeah. Dean Martin was? Yeah. You're like, oh, uh, it was just yeah. like, if, the wow. first like 20 times, I'm like, <laughs> ah, hey, like, good to see you. And eventually I'll be like, maybe I, like, maybe this guy wants a fucking answer. So I'll be like, yeah. I hear that the weather's nice and I say hello to you. And he'd be like. What that the blows. fuck? Yeah, like, that sucks. <laughs> Stupid ass. Like, you're not supposed to reply to it, but yeah, I'm like, not, it always, bad, it always just set us off on a bad foot because he'd yeah. say it, and I'd be like, "What do I say?" <laughs> I'm like, "Well, just say hi. Just say hello to me." Yeah, real piece of shit. I never <laughs> liked him after that. He was. Abby went through a phase where she would answer the phone with like oh, she was in Spanish, <laughs> and I was like, Spanish? "Fuck you, dude! Like, do not do that shit to me." Don't talk to me. Yeah, you like, speak English. This in is his fucking house. weird. Like one time is a oh, she funny. Would say, hola, yeah, oh, hola, yeah. cómo estás? Or something. Uh, Wait, she, she, what the hell? Like, she, oh, why cómo oh, estás? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what is this spell? I was just like, that's just not, it's not you. <laughs> just stop. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you're a redneck. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're trad wife lady. Go I've fucking seen you. You cannot make some pull that sourdough off. bread or whatever the fuck you do up there. <laughs> She's been up there trying to make sourdough cultures for like two months. Oh. She's got constant She's jars that level of like of home wife board. Okay, yeah. she, you yeah, need to let her get a got, job she, again. She's got like a weird fucking like chemistry set of cultures up there trying to oh, brew the right Jesus sourdough. Christ. I think I'd be a what great housewife fuck? in that. Oh, I think I, so too. Actually, I don't. You're like my how, replacement, by the way. If Abby goes, yeah, Plan B. I yeah. don't like. Okay, this is like very. It's like a, I'm very. I need to be careful how to say this. Because I don't want to come off complaining that my job's too easy and I have too much free time. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> my job's too easy. I have too much free time and I'm too I'm too brain dead to like a lot of times I'm just like having too much free time can be a curse. But it's like, well, that's why I initially I'm like, I'd be a great housewife. I'd just sit around, I clean, I cook. But like also it drives me crazy currently, and I think it would drive me even more crazy if I had to be your housewife. So I I will take that backup position, but I am not looking forward <laughs> yeah. to the day that I'm I have honestly, to take up that duty. I'm an angel. I I don't okay. think it's I don't think it's that bad. Okay. Well, I what, could was imagine I, was I a problem bad. child at the Airbnb? No. Did I leave little streak doo doo marks in no, the toilet? No. If I'd or be anything? a housewife for goddamn lettuce or a mead, yeah, then I'd be good. Then I'd be having a oh, real issue. Too. I'm trying to make this house a home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd be going feral, but uh, yeah, let us throw in his clothes around. He has his goddamn like sand collection, all of his day, fucking day his, one. Day let's one. throw all day the shit his protein <laughs> shake shits everywhere, all over the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's real. How? <laughs> How do you even unpack that quick? He or like in that he way. Was, it's like his suitcase had a bomb in it. Like he just threw it on the <laughs> fucking <laughs> table. Yeah. Shit, yeah, yeah, it was like a crank suitcase. He opened it up and. It, <laughs> <laughs> rattlesnake in a can dude shot shit everywhere and uh, yeah it's uh i remember there was a mod for skyrim where you would go into your house and you could just auto fill the shelves in the the, oh, the countertops that's dope as shit. and you and so you would just like put in like you know like gyms and stuff and then it would just auto decorate and i feel like oh, that's, that's cool. what lettuce like his, his briefcase yeah, maybe, maybe was just, just a like decorator. cover every horizontal surface with yeah. my shit, oh, shit yeah. <laughs> listen i'm a maximalist i get it yeah. no i i hate uh, that because 
I was like trying to be more conscious of it this time to like, I mean, end up not working anyway because I became the IGL. But like, I was trying to be like, don't like nobody likes fucking to have mom friends telling them what to do. Like, I hate that shit. But also, it's like now they're being beast in my name. Like, I gotta be the. <laughs> yeah. hey, I remember why do you think DC. I did not like having to deal with like I would look at those yeah, pizza boxes likes- in San Diego and go like. Ah, like we got to take those out and like dispose yeah. of them because it was all in my name. Yeah. But this time I was just like, I slid okay. the money. I get to yeah. fucking sit back and not give a shit. Yeah. Next time we got to nice. spend some more money. You got to go somewhere a little where your windows don't get clipped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like, I remember in, or no, it was in DC. Lettuce was on the couch and I was <laughs> having him like, okay, honey, like pick that up, get that. And he was talking about like, he's going to go out. I'm like, you're going to go out at this hour, like 2 a.m. to see some girl. I'm like, come on, what are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? And he was like, dude, like, you're not my mom. Like, stop acting like yeah. my mom. And I was like, oh. <laughs> that, oh and you gave him the silent treatment when your room yeah. and closed the door, didn't yeah. you? Well, you didn't yeah, fuck well, him that night, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that later that night, you know, he's putting a little blanket on him as he sleeps. Okay, yeah, this guy. Gets his little you, know, forehead. you know, he's still yeah. there for him because that's what a mother does. And I thankless. Clean. It's completely thankless, the job of the mother. <laughs> and often the father and the children conspire and laugh at the mother behind <laughs> yep, her back. Yep. It's a thankless job. What's that man. quote? Thinking that, yeah, they're they're all in on it. She's too stupid. It's not great. It's not great. Mother's Day, guys. It's going to be, this episode will be coming out probably right before Mother's Day. Do something sweet for your mothers. I thought Cinco de Mayo was Mother's Day somehow, even though <laughs> I've been told it, now 50 times. I thought we already celebrated Mother's Day, I thought. Mother's no, Day is always on a Sunday, I yeah. guess. I did oh, not no, know that. Oh, no, we already celebrated it, like, I'm sorry, for just in my, in my family, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, you're, you're, the world doesn't bro. fucking revolve around your family. No, I thought yeah. it was just in the middle of the week at some point. No, no, it's a Sunday. No, well, I thought, I checked my, like, google calendars and it was like cinco de mayo mother's day you just put it right under it it was like next yeah. sunday but i thought they were somehow on the same day so i like told my roommate the night before like fuck dude it's mother's day tomorrow <laughs> he's like what i thought it was next week and i was telling my chat like mother's day mother's day i was freaking everyone out <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I was completely wrong. <laughs> it's, <laughs> a perfect, yeah. it's a perfect thing to, <laughs> yeah. to, 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 to do. Yeah. He called it, his mom the next day. like, what are you doing? What are you up to? And she's like, I'm going to work all day and I'm going to go <laughs> yeah. home. And he's like, well, that's pretty sad for Mother's Day. And she's like, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm glad. I just imagine I was, all the people that watch, like just sit there and watch <laughs> Twitch streamers. They're usually those people that are like. <laughs> Yeah, that's what all my viewers are. Not, yeah, not paying. They, they all like, fucking believe your ass. Lo- so losing like, track of time. Like, yeah. if, if losing track <laughs> no. of time was a person, it would be just a Twitch viewer. Yeah, they're, I'm sure they they're just, mostly like taking notes, studying up on other things. Oh, you on think another monitor, yeah, they're learning they're another language, language. Discovering, PhD discovering new dissertation, adjusting yeah. their ties. Yeah. I've got a couple businessmen in my chat. Listen, I'm no Amid, okay? I don't have a lot of hunks, <laughs> but I've got what my favorite. What the fuck is amount. with that guy's viewers? I don't it's because he's only showing you two. He's curated two. <laughs> yeah, and he, he goes, look, out, yeah. look, look at these two cool guys. Look at them. Look at them. The average viewer. Yeah, I feel like he just has an average cool viewership that's not true is that not true well you need a bigger sample well we have like the same viewers (laughs) minus the bear because all the all the gremlins that would come out of the woodwork they would go oh poop hey sam and then (laughs) and they'd be like who's omid and then keep Uh, walking well yeah Yeah. i guess it's not he's like not on their radar smaller pools in the twitch world though versus the podcast world definitely more people see me on the podcast than on twitch Um. and then you know, it's different, a little different bases. I have some people that like, I've been watching my stream for years. They don't even fucking, it's so funny when someone will come in and be like, I love the podcast. And they're like, you're on a podcast. Like they have no <laughs> yeah. idea. I have like one of my old like internet nice friends, though. like a month ago. Yeah. He was like, dude, I didn't know you're like starting out a podcast or something. Like, let me see it. Nah, man, you're good. <laughs> Start, starting out a podcast. Yeah. 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 Like, it's been around. I, I, I do. I'm so like. I don't know. I don't know what kind of person I am a lot of times. I think a lot of people are like that. I don't know who I am. Uh, do you okay. not do that like uh, sending your, are you not proud of this work? No, but I'm not boastful, but I don't like, I'm not, I don't like to, 
I am proud. I, I don't you know. Don't if be I'm known proud. as a podcast no guy or do something. Do I love this job? Yes. Am I proud of it? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> okay. I so like the problem is it? the problem is is okay. that when you send someone an episode of a podcast, you're literally just sending them a fucking past funny conversation. It's not like yeah. it's not something that like. Yeah. This so isn't like, this isn't like, like a yeah, produced show where we have a guest yeah. on and we're like, and now it's 60 minutes with blank, our guest. And then we give them yeah. like a huge, it's not like a work we're doing. I'm not going to sit there and, and look back on this and be like, damn, like this is my magnum opus. These Man. are like funny conversations <laughs> with my friends. Like it's I'm not, not going to lie though. It's not the planning same. Planning some shit wouldn't be bad. You no, know. planning well, we stuff every, is fun. Every but month, we're, uh, yeah. Even the most planned live bit is not going to be as good as a as like an edited, uh, edited curated like video. Bit. It's yeah. also less like palatable to just like sh show to your friend. Yeah, or like yeah. It's my yeah. family's like, what is it? We got to see it. I'm like, if they watch it, they'd be here's like, a three hour fuck? episode. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here's three hours of just like me Wait, rambling. What we have to do is we have to get a goddamn compilation. Oh, oh yeah, like best yeah. of. Best yeah. of. Best of. There you go. Just That'd be good. You, just to send to your I do remember, family, like, so. but also it's like, I say I'm not proud of it, but if anyone's ever like, oh, good luck with your little project, buddy, I'm like, what the fuck did you do? Like, you don't <laughs> yeah. know how successful this project. <laughs> I remember, like, I went We're to the We're the number bar one adults-only podcast on Patreon. Forehead-related, like fabling yeah. Yeah. podcast. What? We were the only assholes on 18. Patreon that had it, like, 18 plus or something, because oh, they don't care. Yeah. Oh, Christ, fuck. Man. Yeah! Like we, <laughs> we were number it's one lot, for yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I remember though, a guy at a bar was like, "It's right when I started to being like, this is like two years ago, Rube. Oh, maybe a year ago. I don't it know. Became like no your, idea. your main gig. Yeah, where it's like yeah. my main gig. And when people ask like, what do you do? I was like, you know, I do a podcast. I do streaming. You know, like art and video game. I haven't done art in fucking a year, but I'm like, I always lead with you know, like art and games. Because it sounds more yeah, palatable, the, also. Yeah, the, the, the guy, the bills are yeah, the guy was yeah, like, games. "Oh, uh, I was telling him like, yeah, I would do like a podcast with some friends. Like, I'm on my friends. Like, I'm like an add-in to this podcast." He's like, "Oh, good luck with that, man." I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why? Oh, hey, good luck with that. What do you do, bitch? He was like a goddamn junior in my well, program. Like, you know why that is? Is because go to like r slash podcasting on Reddit. And it is nothing but people going, uh, I'm on my it's seventh thing, year though. of podcasting and I've had, I, I'm, I'm working guests every week. I do script writing. So I we're do better than them. We're better than those podcasters. We're funnier. We do. I <laughs> do blank, better. blank, blank. I've had like five years of like really top notch, what I consider top notch production quality. And uh, and I have I've had no success. I've I've dumped forty five thousand dollars into this show. Holy that's like most shit. like YouTube. That's most podcasts. Twitch, any, yeah. Any of it. What? It's like you're. Yeah. If you're like living off of it, you're at the top. Already, you're you know top top one point one percent. Yeah. Percent, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. ridiculous. Actually, you know what? Now that I've realized, it's, we're very lucky. I will say we are sensationally lucky to be doing this. Well, Brian works a real job, but. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I yeah. I feel like yeah. I absolutely I absolutely lucker dogged Sweet. into it on on YouTube because I have now seen two or three people figure out the algorithm and then they like strategically like like a scalpel make their video for the algorithm and they do really well and I and then I look at my own stuff and I go I do not follow that <laughs> like yeah. I do not follow that like diagram like schematic of how to to make it and so the fact that I have made it without following that kind of stuff it feels it, it it does it feels good in a way but it's also like I oh, god I fucking really am missing out on some bucks if, it, I just, it, yeah. if I would have just if I would have just done it like yeah better yeah, maybe this is like coping like I'm just coping or whatever but I see the lot where like people I used to be friends with a lot or like play games with and shit like I'll just see them over like out of nowhere they they will start getting like 800 900 viewers on Twitch like a thousand they just blow up and all their shits like doing so well and I'm always like oh fuck like when's my turn but I do but then after like you know like six months then it's like goes you know it always evens out I'm like it's better to have like slow and steady growth I think but then I don't also know how Twitch every works. every time I yeah. 
How does it's, the there's so many people explode? where they slow and steady and then they still fall off. Like, I, mm. I everyone falls off at a point, basically, unless you're that person that doesn't. But, like, it's so scary seeing. We've talked about this so many times, I feel like. But, like, you see a guy that used to be massive on YouTube and he gets, yeah. like, 20,000 views on all his videos. You're like, holy shit. Like, what happened to you, dude? Yeah, yeah what happened? Most, How does most even, of those people, you know what they do is. Their it's, viewers die. Nah, a lot of it is like so. Like my channel is on a downturn right now because oh, I'll say that you're always like it's on a downturn. You say that I'm on a, yeah, I'm on a perpetual I've downhill. I haven't watched, watched your. I haven't no, no. your analytics in a while. Well, on. But what Am happened? I have to start mm. Dust off my LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happens yeah. is once you get a negative, like Tarkov died, right? Oh yeah, and like that was like a tent pole of my channel. I fucked That's up. I, I invested too much in that goddamn game. Yeah, fuck that game and uh, what happens is like when you start getting a negative slope, then YouTube like goes like this guy ain't cool this anymore. And you, yeah, yeah, you really have to like it is hard to break that trend, and uh, mm. that that does fucking suck. But I I have realized yeah over the years it is way better to just. Kind of like, like, just kind of diversify a little bit, so you're not just riding one game because you will get like short term yeah. success on it. But then when that game dies, oh, it's fucking. I mean, over, I hopped man. off Tarkov yeah. early. Yeah, he that did. Was yeah. All, I definitely like suffered, like you said, like I would have more viewers on Twitch if I just played Tarkov. But I was going fucking crazy. Like I, yeah. as soon as I was, I, you know, maybe for a month I forced it, and then I'm like. This fucking blows. What's the point? Yeah. And now I just force yeah. everything. Now I just force every game. Yeah. Except for the Star Wars game I've been playing. Oh, like waking up, saying hours. hi to your roommate and everything. You're like, this is, uh, I would rather be in bed. <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm I so... would rather just like crawl under my covers and like yeah. never wake I, up. I think I'm like, I think there's like poison in my body. I can't <laughs> not sleep for like 10 hours. <laughs> and I always wake up my roommate's like, dude, it's all, it's like only two o'clock. Fuck. Like I thought it was five already. I'm like, it's uh. two? Holy <laughs> fuck. Like, oh, oh. We have, like, complete reverse. Like, I'll normally start my day at, like, 5 o'clock. And he's like, oh. Christ. Not like, st- not, like, start. Like, Eight. I mean, like, if I'm streaming or something. Oh, yeah. Like, that's streaming. wrong. Yeah, okay. But for a couple that's hours, I've already, you know, eaten see, breakfast. And dude, walked, that's so frustrating to me. That's, like, my one... A, like grievance with having like a family is that you like prime sleep. time streamer time and like playing games with friends time is when Afternoon. I like yeah that's when you I'm like busy shitty fucking dumb family that's ass, when so I'm like, shaping two kids minds yeah, yeah and cooking Fuck. dinner and cleaning house yeah, that's oh, if you just is. waited like five years to have them you could have an AI dad <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> true them. yeah robot Swap nanny none of those none of those fucking AI, all those AIs turn racist if you leave them unchecked for a little bit. Is well, is the lesson I've the learned from all the parenting? Yeah. <laughs> what they would be getting. That's yeah. That's, that's every parent about. when that's they're left alone. If the other yeah. parent's not there, they start yeah. going like, "Let me tell you Gene. about. Let me tell you what what the Japanese did in the Korean. Never talk <laughs> Spanish <laughs> like mommy does. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to be like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They learn our language. <laughs> it's a mark of the devil if you speak that. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's most, most interesting. There was something insightful I was going to say for uh, for that whole like YouTube thing, and I forget what it was. I so rarely have an insightful thought. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You lost no, it. Because it, that is like my one, I don't even want to say area of expertise, but that is like something that I've just been I because I, I don't study it. There's some people I talk to yeah. and they're like, you can tell it's like, all right, this fucking nerd is like into the business side of YouTube yeah. more than I am. But they, I have at least been on the platform for like a decade. And so I have like, you know, kind of sat through it and been working through it. Your experience. But, yeah. yeah. I've seen that. But there was so, yeah. there was something about YouTube channels and. God, if we could just go back in time. How and do I make my YouTube plus, channel better? B- better? No, no. I'm actually, I think, job. honestly, for for what you are and for what you're striving for, I think your YouTube channel is exactly what you need. I can I don't, I I his, don't I think. I thought he was talking about his Twitch. No, no, no. no, no now I'm YouTube. talking about my YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Which, by the way, is YouTube forward slash poop tube. Isn't that just like clips? It's just it, it's like a highlight. It's not just, just clips. It's not just. just no, I, don't mean, I don't mean. I don't mean. I don't mean. I don't mean. Okay, sorry. Uh, it's artistic piece. 
yeah, these are film. You're calling Swift, Swift a highlight editor, dude? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Swift? I, our yeah. our pussy getter slash editor Swift? Yeah. These are films. I'm going to need to see some proof. I'm going to smell fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> But uh, no, I, I, you say, I need my I, th- when you when you look around and go like, when's it going to be my turn? It'll happen. Eventually I, it'll happen. But also <laughs> there's, yeah, it's the. Didn't that happen I with you, Sam? It just, like, of, ha- it just like would come in bursts. There's a lot of like. Right? Yeah, I would hit a fucking. If I'd hit some I did dog have shit, that would like a thousand algorithm. viewers yeah, on and Twitch. Then, and then they stay. It's like you lose the sweetness of like, now I'm at the point where I know all my repeat viewers. Like I don't actually know them. But you know, you know, you learn you like a little bit of humors of the names and like what they like and shit. But you don't know what they, you know, what who, what kind of person they are. But like some of them, you actually are like, man, yeah. I wish they showed up today. And like you don't get that in the big channels. There's two then, phases that are fun with Twitch, and it's yeah. one is your phase where you can sit there and actually have a rapport with your community. And then there's the phase where you're like at Wubby, where it's just an unruly mob, and you get to kind of like guide <laughs> That's them. Also, yeah, kind of fun. You, you know, when it's so many people, mind. you can just kind of go like well, go this way like, and cause destruction. Yeah. But the middle ground, where you're yeah. like kind of in between there, and that's where I am. It's like yeah, there's yours. a lot of people, but it's not enough to like you can't you you can't doss someone's fucking like you can't bring down stuff. You know, you can't cause mayhem. You can just be a little bit of an annoyance. And it's too big to have a good rapport with. It's uh, it's tough. It's it's growing pains. Growing pains. How do you have a rapport with YouTube? No, not with YouTube. I'm saying while streaming. Okay, I'm dude. You're losing me. All right, all right. right. Yeah, on YouTube, you don't, there is no rapport. You just put things up. But it's more professional than Twitch because you publish it. You You go. Here you yeah. go. Here's yeah. something I worked on. I and really you publish it with a little I'm thumbnail. I'm liking the, where my YouTube's at right now too, because Swift's now doing like more videos. And then I don't because praise the patrons, you know, and mm. whatever Twitch and shit. Like I don't need to game YouTube or Twitch. Like I can just kind of do what I want. Where a lot of people, it's like a lot of my compatriots and stuff. You know, people. Are, People around my size on Twitch and stuff, it's like, that's their main income. They have to really focus on, like, getting better analytics, making as much money as possible, like, getting good sponsorships and shit. And then it's like, well, on my YouTube, I can just make... Uh, people are always like, dude, you got to do better thumbnails and titles or else you're never going to show up in the algorithm. Like, Shut I don't up. Care. Shut I don't care. Up. Yeah. I don't that's care one of the video first things that, like... hundred views. Like, I just want to make it stupid. I, it's like that's what Wilbur. That's what Wilbur told me. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. Game. Your thumbnails, you can tell you put a lot of work into them, and you can tell you like them, and they have a very distinct style, but they will never take off on YouTube. They are not what the algorithm likes. It's not oh, what people no would click arrows. on, and yeah, yeah, it's not what people would click on from right. in so thumbnail size. Fucking expression. Like, I don't fucking care. I don't give a shit. But. Oh well. Fucking tomorrow next video uploads is him doing a big gaping asshole face and fucking pointing at an Among Us. Like, I love the, the Mr. Beast one's great where he's like he made like a thousand people see here and whatever and and like it's always it's always yeah. like him just going like like yeah. it's the yeah. same photo right. in yeah. each thumbnail. It's great. Always been so like it's creepy. It's uh, a, like I always hate yeah like even back like Russ YouTubers you saw it you know. Yeah. And that's like what we, I mean, what I used to do is like, Russ kind of, like, you just see the guys that are more like trying to game. They're like chesting out new, like, how much yellow do I put in the text with the white border yeah. or whatever? Like, how yeah, do yeah. I get this just right? And then they do it for like a thousand fucking. I always really like, that's why I liked uh, Casey Moe's thumbnails because he with had that thing? one artist, yeah, that he worked with. And yeah. the guy would always do like the same style, but like crazy drawn. <laughs> I thumbnails. forget like that guy's cool. name. I remember I asked I know, I him. I used to know that guy's name too. I asked him for a commission. I wanted him to draw something graphic, and he was like, "No, I'm not going to do that." <laughs> <laughs> okay, then he's actually oh, a prude. And yeah, it's good. fuck that guy. Fuck that guy dude. <laughs> I forget Get what Bizzle it was. To do it. Bizzle's, yeah, <laughs> Bizzle thumbnails are crazy too. Uh, Reminds you of a, of that style. Tat- it was like Tatten art or something. Oh, wait. or yeah, yeah, I think it was Tatten. Tatten art. Yeah. It was something like that. 
What, what the hell happened to Casey Mo? Like that far. I know he went to Fortnite for a long time. I think like Rust building to Fortnite building. <laughs> yeah, that guy gets into like and the competitive now, side of yeah. whatever. What? I don't yeah. know. Oh, it looks like he's back on Rust. Strange, strange. That's another. Dude. And this is like no is shade to like him a, at all. What? For some people, yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Like the amount of fun. Like, dude, Spoon Kid does like fucking in. Oh, wait, this guy loves Spoon Kid. I haven't talked I love to Spoon, Spoon Kid since that podcast, you, by the yeah, way. I'll give you a defense. A I don't think you've talked about him in like years. No, I, well, I, even I, back then, good, I wasn't like, I was fan. just like, the guy's uh, funny. But his videos do insane views, and he's got like 12 channels, and they all do well. Like, he's got Spoon Kid, Spoon Kid 2, Spoon Kid 3, Spoon Kid 4, through like 10. And they just are, it's funny, but it's, yeah, like some people. I think that like blueprint guy still does like insane views on Rust. I think it's the same. It's the same trap people fall into though with Tarkov and stuff, where it's like you get into your thing. They want to try new shit. I see them. That throat guy. I would be uh, so scared to like be that invested into a community, and it's like. I know. Well, I mean, that's why people. You, you do I get mean, to that point we... of self reflection where you're like, are people here because of me, or are they here because of a fucking game? That's what we yeah. came up with, yeah. or at least me. You were already established, but I didn't really, like know you, your shit. But like at Aqua Village time, like everyone I knew in Rust, it's like Rust was all they did, That's and they kept doing it for like two years after, like Aqua never. You know, it's just like Aqua Guac, Molly and, Jones, yeah, yeah Dean, Dan T, but like everyone okay. just did Rust, and it's like if you do anything else, you get a tenth of the views. And they're like, well, fuck, I don't want to put in the effort if I'm not going to get the views. But you, like, have to take that, you have to take that leap of less money for, hopefully, people stay for you. And then you yeah, rebuild. Yeah, you're, sh you're shooting like, yourself in the foot yeah. because, you know, but it's, you it's a good to thing. to not play one game yeah. forever. Yeah. And, and not just be identified by a, a game. Yeah, that's why yeah. I've phased out Tarkov slowly, which is nice. When it wipes, I'll do like two videos, <laughs> and then I'm like, "All right, I'm yeah, done with that. Done. I'm I'm yeah. done." And then, uh, and and now, which is great because Tarkov has just like been obliterated into nothing. Has but, it? Well, I I don't follow anything Tarkov anymore. Well, like, what happened to it? Um, I don't know. Oh, there, there's something <laughs> about bored. like yeah, people are like there's like rampant cheaters, and then oh, and then yeah, it, that's, that's and then so everybody like there. everybody stopped playing it, and then. There's a lot of like anti-Russian hate or something, some sort of racism. I don't know what's going on, but there's just not a lot of people oh. playing it anymore, which uh, kind of sucks for them, to be honest. But you know that game kind of there was some there's been some pretty vocal uh, people out there going, "This is what's wrong with it. Fix it." And then they it's don't been listen, like, yeah. yeah, it's been like four <laughs> fucking <Bullshit>. years. Yeah. <laughs> which you know what? I played a lot of Daisy. <laughs> Like uh, the Daisy mod on Operation Arrowhead. Do you remember how many times we had to fucking deal with cheaters and hackers? In that game, I feel like it is infinitely worse to be killed by a hacker on Daisy than any other game because it took me an hour and a half to load up shit and uh, and make my way to Starry Sabor for you to kill me. Yeah, just to jog up there. Fucking yeah, jog up fun. there. Yeah, eating my can of beans and my soda. <laughs> Two cans of beans. And, or no, one can of bean and two Dude, cans of soda, two cans soda yeah. yeah. Running up to Berezino and I get fucking killed by yeah. a hacker. Like, I would scream. <laughs> but for some reason, like, Tarkov, I don't, I don't know why it irritates me even more. I dealt with it more. more. I guess because I had more free time, but I dealt with it more on DayZ. But on Tarkov, it's I like, when it happens... I think Tarkov had more hackers than DayZ. Like, DayZ was... It was just so devastating when it happened, but I don't think it was that often. He honestly. was just plagued with other issues too. Yeah. Like talking about like falling through the stairs and then you're stuck yeah, yeah. and you have to wait to die. Or like oh, I talked about before, my, my character is literally slower than other people's because my processor was on a laptop. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, like yeah, yeah, my character yeah. is physically slow. I'm like, I, I had always yeah. wondered why there were some people you'd play with where it's like, why the fuck do you just fall behind? Yeah, no, some people yeah. literally yeah, back then it, yeah. would run slower. Yeah. And my friends would be like, I don't want to play with you, dude, because I have to <laughs> yeah, fucking... Slow. They would go <laughs> ahead, loot everything, and then come back, and I'm like, God damn. How like, slow were you? Damn. <laughs> I don't know, like... Barely running. Probably half speed of my friends. Where That's it'd be, brutal. Uh, no, probably not. Probably like 70%. But it was noticeable enough where, like, 
all you do in that game is fucking, is fucking run, run somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So it would That's be like a huge uh, disadvantage. That's yeah. Like, yeah. People would catch up to me. Zombies <laughs> yeah. catch up to me. Yeah. It was not. It was just like, man, this kind of fucking sucks. Yeah. And then it's like you ever get a gun, you walk, and then poof, you hear a gunshot, you're dead. <laughs> That game rocked, game though. Br- yeah, it, 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 it did rock in its time. I, I yeah. spent a lot of time. I just love You want to hear the biggest bullshit kind of that I, I remember doing where it wasn't even like a gameplay element, but it was turned into a gameplay element. And that's when you would be playing on official servers where they had your character would live across servers. Mm. You would see someone sniping. You would know they have you dead to rights. You would log out. You would get onto uh. another official server. You would move to a position that would be able to overlook their position that they were sniping from uh. and then go back into that other server. That's fucked up. <laughs> I don't think I ever did that. <laughs> I did that yeah, multiple dude, Ron, times. Dude. That's why you, That's uh. why people are going straight to private servers. Like yeah. Private servers are the way to go. Or yeah. better yet, like... When when you were in the middle of a gunfight and then all of a sudden there was like a mandatory like server Serving, reset. Yeah. yeah. And then it you was would be like whoever logs in first. Do yeah. I log in yeah. first or do I wait twenty minutes? You know, like do I go get a yeah. sandwich or do I yeah. fucking log in really quick? Oh I, my fucking god. That game's kinda had a resurgence too lately with like a lot of I think it's like the same type of people like all those games that like Tarkov yeah. Russ. I mean there's a I reason they games. bounce around. Yeah, yeah. same. Like yeah. it's uh it's the type of game that makes me like actively 90% of the time, you know, I'm just whatever. I'm just sitting around. I never sweat. Okay. When I play those <laughs> games, my armpits are like sweaty. My hands are clammy. And like the thrill of like the fear of loss is so high that it, it's like the most I engaged have, I ever am with. I game. have genuinely gotten buck fever on Daisy buck where fever. I have. Have you? Yeah, like Make I'll be, shot. I will be like lined oh, up yeah, on a guy, yeah. and I'll be like, dude, I can't fucking. I can once I fire, there's I gonna up. be seven zombies on me. That <laughs> yeah. guy's gonna know where I am. I'm in a bad position, and it's like I, I'll just, uh, right. yeah, and then, but then uh, dude, uh, that's why Tarkov hit it off because it's like it's the same adrenaline rush, yeah. but yeah. much more condensed. I know you did less yeah. rust than I did for sure, but like. That era for me was so fucking awesome. Because, like, yeah, I played some, um, what was it called? By the way, I know I didn't. This is this is such a ridiculous thing. Because if you look at your, your uh, Steam library and just look at, like, your most played games, I'm sure there's only a couple that are above 1,000 hours. I yeah. know for a I fact I, you know. I played less Rust than all my friends. And I, mean, I was, like, a you know, it's fake funny. Rust, Rust mu- YouTuber. Rust is my most played uh, game. I have 700 hours on it. Oh, I think I think that about? is I mean, that's such pretty a, decent, but yeah, compared to Rust a YouTubers, huge amount for I mean, yeah, any Rush for any asshole to spend 700 hours that's sitting in front of a game. That's a huge amount of time. But like, if you ask any of those guys that you watch on on YouTube, yeah, any of those dudes, sir, 8, go 000. ask Sir Winner how yeah. many hours 10, he got 000, on yeah. Rust. Yeah, probably that like guy, 10, 000, yeah. Dude. He's been yeah, playing this shit for so long. Yeah. That's his, his life. He's experienced more rust than actual life. Is he, does he still play it? Dude, he lives in that shit. Oh, man. He lives in it. I, I don't know why I have I Steam. I have, like, Steam. Uh, do you remember when he invited us to go live with him? And we just, like, lived in this little... Oh, it was just... Christmas Bizzle, right? Yes, it was a yeah. shack. That was within the shadow of his empire. They, yeah, <laughs> it was like yeah. he had like a castle, and we had like a one by two with like a, a balcony on the yeah. roof. And like he just like he's like you will not be messed with in my domain. <laughs> and, yeah. like, and inside his place was all Anything pimped out. Did. Bizzle had painted everything on the inside. Yeah. yeah, and then you stole Bizzle away from him. I would never. Every single light. But yes, that happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Winter. He uploaded uh, seven hours ago, so yeah, he's still... He's dude, still he's playing. on that shit. He's on it. Yeah, that's such a good game. I just, I get so frustrated playing it because you see all that it has, and then you see how little people use it. I like yeah. just, like, it's been fun, like, growing, through, like, playing Legacy and then playing a little bit of, like, after yeah. they updated Legacy, my laptop couldn't handle it, so I was, like, very oh, faint in it, and then around like you know also i just owe it a, i owe this dumbass game like a great debt because it's where i met most of my online friends it's kind of like you know butterfly it's like why i am here today 
in this job, kind of, you know, I, we wouldn't know each other if it wasn't yeah. for us. Uh, I wouldn't know like 80 per, I wouldn't know Amid, you know, Devin, any, like I wouldn't know any of the people I talk to all the time if it wasn't for us and like just the, but you know, there's also like horrors in the game of the community. It's like the worst community ever. But I've had nah, like some of my I favorite gaming <laughs> memories of all time in that game. I love I love and the social aspect of Rust. I yeah, think that's they, great. They I don't so like any cool, of the people. I mean, like, yeah, it's so so how cool I gear genuinely too. met people. Like yeah. They got, what, like, telephones now and shit? And they, they got, got, they yeah, got it's all, crazy, crazy how different it is. I, I should play it sometime. I, I feel like they just, they're doing another uh, Twitch Rivals. I Even though I'm not, like, a Rust streamer by any means anymore, yeah. I still, like, get into, like, I've been in the last like five Twitch rivals, and then this year, I think Z Trump's a captain again. I've n I've got no. Last year, I I knew I was <laughs> no fading out of out of rust. <laughs> yeah. When last year it was like last minute, like are you in or out? I need to know within ten minutes the deadlines in like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Our yeah. other guy dropped out. I'm like, fuck, I guess. <laughs> and now this year, I'm like waiting by the phone i don't think i'm i don't yeah. think i'm making this year i've been to so many uh, though and there's so many i of know those... so many people in the community but it's like i'm not really now. a rust person anymore but i still hold like i still consider myself like a rust guy but it's been rust you know what's weird time, about that you know? game that game's had such a long life cycle that not only has it brought like a rise of youtubers but then they died off and new YouTubers have come over yeah, and it's like rust, generations yeah. of yeah. yeah. Usually when someone like comes up and like tackles a game, it's like, that's theirs. Yeah. You yeah. know, for, for the, until that game dies and like, you know, there's like no new TF2 YouTubers popping up. Like they're all, it was actually, I say that kid on the scene. I swear I to God, see, there was a new guy. Yeah, there's a new yeah. guy. I say well, that in like, as soon sucks. as I said it, I was like, I remember I saw a TF2 video that got posted. It had over a million views and it was from a channel with less than like 10,000 subs or something. And it was posted like a week ago. And I was like, what a million views in a week on TF2. Yeah. What is happening? And uh, it still. Um, it's badass, honestly. I watched yeah. it and I was like, I want to get back on TF2. That game rocks. <laughs> it's been so yeah. long. Yeah. I'm not yeah. trying to shit on Sir Winter by any means. I like Sir Winter, but I now realize <laughs> he's exactly shit. what I was talking about. Of all of his thumbnails, the they arrow. went from yellow text to now they all have a big red arrow. They have the same yeah. red arrow and everyone. Damn. His videos are like an hour long each, too. Oh, Holy yeah. shit. He's uploading a fuck That's ton him. of hour long videos. I remember for a while that was the big thing, Rust cinematics. Like Rust like movies. Rust movies. Yeah, people were making like crazy. Okay, so here, once again, here's the problem. Not, that's with how, the YouTube that's how algorithm. Block got big, right? Because he had like crazy intros. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, what you're saying? Uh, the, did good editing, yeah. yeah like weird. the algorithm likes watch time. And so if you make a longer video, then chances are people are going to watch for a longer amount of time before Has giving it changed? up. I thought it was like the meme was 10 minutes. You got to do 10 minutes. That was that was the meme in like 2016. People now, are still holding on. So to now that. it's like you got to make <laughs> one hour yeah. long. Yeah. Not time, like man. one hour long, yeah. but like if you if you have a long video and it has long watch time, then that's better. You get like It's kind of nice though cuz you don't have to worry about you can you know, make it as long as you fucking want, you know. Yeah. Or even like let's say if you do 5 minute videos and but a shitload of people watch it, that's better now than Well, I was wondering why I couldn't crap one. I was wondering why why can't I make like as many videos as I used to make? I started looking at it. I fucking my videos are like on average long as shit compared to what they used to be. They used to they be like than a TV show episode, yeah. like eight minutes, not Holy twelve minutes fuck. or something. They'd be short. That, you were trying to get the dollar. You're trying to get the ad revenue. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was the and now, like and now it's like <laughs> I do it until all the footage is gone, regardless of what that means. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so sometimes it's like 30 minutes. Sometimes it's actually, usually if it's like 30 minutes, I'm just like, I'm sorry, I'm cutting out the bottom 10% until it gets into a manageable length. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something really has to make me giggle for it to stay in here. Dude, I'm sorry. I just like YouTube to rust to see like who are the now, like nowadays, like going crazy guys. This Stevie guy, every one of his videos, yeah, he does rust movies, but they get like, Two million views and they're like an hour and a half. Like it's got to be killing. He's got a three-hour Rust movie. Fuck. Tarantino ass Rust Holy director, yeah. dude. Like, what does that even mean? And all those to guys make, that who do... watches that long of a video. This is no shade. 
Who can sit there and watch a three-hour Russ video? It's, it's an ecosystem that I look oh, yeah. at and I go, what the fuck is going on yeah, over motherfuckers there? Motherfuckers are either, weird. They either watch it in shifts or they're falling asleep to it. It's like That's a season I of Russ gets, TV. Like, that, yeah. yeah, that is not, there's no you way it's a lot. There. good-ass Russ videos? Somebody booked off <laughs> their whole fucking Chum. afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, Z well, Z Chum. But he doesn't invite me to his videos or his Twitch rivals I've team. So that. I, 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 I don't really, really want to. Tarkov guy. But he makes Russ videos on he YouTube, does, and they okay. go crazy because yeah. he puts in like he literally works for like four months at a time on them. Oh, and he cool. also he also goes like, "Hey, you know all that stupid shit in the game that makes the game cool that nobody uses? I'm gonna yeah. use that to make a cool <laughs> video." And people go like, oh, there's cameras in the game? What the hell? I forgot. Yeah. We're used to spearing each other out in the woods and mm. using crossbows and stuff. Like, it's, it's so fucking annoying that it, there's so many cool things out there that people don't use in that game. Uh, yeah. His, videos, his video is pretty badass, though. The, uh, oh. I, honestly, the building trick oh. ones... Not so much, but the because uh, that was like the realm of rust that I wasn't into. Yeah. There was a lot of like when people would build, they'd be like, "Don't give Sam the goddamn scroll and the hammer or whatever." Yeah. He he makes he dog really shit every time. Honeycomb. I like making yeah. a base that feels like home. But yeah, I just I make I put windows in them, you know, because yeah. I like looking out. Yeah, I like who's yeah. knocking yeah. on my door. I don't want to feel like the most important part of rust to me is finding yeah. a good location to make my base. It's all about. I think location. I think the yeah. heart the most tryhard shit we did was make an airlock. I think that was the. Mm -hmm. That was it. <laughs> Airlock. A door. That's door heavy security. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was it. Wait, a door I had a door. design <laughs> that there was a window that looked at the outside door so that I could look at it before I went through my airlock. And then I remember, yeah. I forget who we were playing with, walked in and was like, I think it was Dean, because Dean was like a base, base connoisseur. Yeah, base yeah. And he was yeah. like, what the fuck? This is the <laughs> weakest goddamn design yeah. ever. He's yeah. like, you know how many rockets it would take to get in here? I go, how many? He goes, zero. It would take like <laughs> one pickaxe worth of God. banging on the side of your house in order to get in. But uh, no, I really do like the um, got all the, like the the CCTV cameras and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's that, crazy. It's weird yeah. that it's just like it's like technology and the games advance. It's just me like modern. It's just like modern. Yeah. yeah, I remember oh, when Rust Legacy was very close to that game miscreated like in zombies, terms of yeah. like fucking <laughs> it was zombie not, bears dude, it and is shit. Night and fucking day that game. <laughs> Holy shit! I've never seen a game come yeah. out like a phoenix. Imagine like, following like Rust, those two like paths: whole. miscreated versus Rust. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think anybody's even thought about miscreated I, in like I, I'll be seven honest, years. I had like a brain blast when you said that because I forgot <laughs> that game existed. Until I remember it had cowboy hats. I, I it? remember I that. that. I had a katana. I, yep. I fucking, Katanas I and cowboy hats, baby. For one hour or two. That it game was fun. Stink. I played. I did. I played. I did. I recorded myself playing that game. When I was going to make a miscreated YouTube video. I had like. F you weren't feeling it. Three or four YouTube videos that no one's ever seen. Because I can't find the channel where I made Rust Legacy uh -huh. videos in like 2015. On yeah. like. It says on the top, like, this was recorded with, like, software because I couldn't afford it. It was yeah. even, like, bandy cam. It was some yeah. off, off And they shit. were the worst videos of all time. And I am so scared knowing that they're out there. But they each had maybe three views from me, like, refreshing. So I don't think they'll ever be dug up. But like, I remember in the beginning refreshing my own videos. Yeah. What? That's how sad I was, yeah. Wait, to, to get the numbers up, you had like a auto refresh tool? Yeah, no, just, just auto just refresh it. tool of finger, dude. That was yeah. practicing no, for I, Abby I, Andy's. Yeah, I, I would refresh, give it, give it a good 15. Give it a good 15 really? views. Oh my Some God. ego views. Did, that, give did it, it work? Did give that a work boost. at all? Did they, those it made like me that, feel better. It's the same fucker watching. There's no way they yeah, count them any more like that because then no. people would just be yeah. like, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, they yeah. ban your accounts if you do that shit. Oh, they really? see like a they lot probably of probably ban my kid. This loser's <laughs> refreshed three times. That yeah. guy, that, got him. Uh, God, who's that legendary Call of Duty guy? Hutch, I think his name is mm. uh, Hutch. That he's like, sound like a legend to me. I don't know him. He's like one of the well, original homage. Call of Duty guys. Anyways, he his channel got recently wiped off of YouTube because of suspicious activity. And they, they were like, you're, you're botting yeah. views, yeah. And he's like, I, I like haven't uploaded in so many years. Like, yeah. I do not. He's like, this is just kind of like, I like to look back on my career and go like, that's my thing. Like, I've obviously 
am not as relevant as I used to be. It's kind yeah. of like a time capsule for me. Please don't remove it. I am not botting views on old videos, I can assure you. Yeah. And uh they said That's... our 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 judgment is final, they said. Holy you shit, really? Lie. They kept it down? Yeah, they That's kept it. They called them into a tribunal and they said, nay. No. You have inflated each of your videos one time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Going down. Yes. That stroll down memory lane is going to cost the Black a lot Ops more. nuke you got. That video <laughs> is it's botted. Gone. gone. Oh, that's kind of sad, actually. Like, it is really all your sad. Shit. I wanted, it's, you it's think like somebody a... archived every single video you are, Sam? Because, like, I feel like you're always a dick hair away from just being banned, you know? There's no the way. Post. There's no way. You know, I feel like, you know. One dick, <laughs> one dick hair away. No, yeah. no, every time I get an email from a, um, from a, one of my beautiful <laughs> audience members, they email me and they go, dude, you need to cover this shit up. It's at this time stamp on this video from yeah, 2015. And I go, there. thanks, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I will go correct that. And oh, then I use the little YouTube editor and I cut out the the bad word. Oh, you can you can actually do that. You yep. can cut it out. I used to just delete them, but now they have like a little editor in there where you can you can yank out bad mm -hmm. words. That's awesome. Yep. And so Brian, you have a squeaky clean past in case your company ever finds. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank a you lot of much. what I'm cutting out is you, actually. What? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a lot of you. What did I say? Are you, what it's are you way more you than all? me. I can assure you. There's no you. way. There is no way. Wow. Why did you leave that in? Why did you? What, what was it? Because you just slipped the N-word into your your like sentences like you were black. Mm. Like It wasn't with any malice or anything. You it's, just talked yeah, it's, like it's you were enhancer. Malibu's Most Wanted or something. You talked like. Yeah, I had to change my personality because of YouTube, you did you know? yeah can't even he has to it's he whatever has to i want to... so a guy like malibu's most wanted in your in your posse i had to change who i was i was fighting yeah. it that's what you really am i respected the, the culture yeah. i respected no. that that no. was me i was honorary inside no. this normal white man is a malibu's <laughs> most wanted yes. guy it's like I the plot it. of malibu's <laughs> most wanted um <laughs> the fuck's that guy's name I so call people Sean. cracker though. I get that word. That's Sean my Kennedy. word. Dude, <laughs> cracker, cracker is funny as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. <Why>? No. <laughs> Don't call me that. I love the word. Just, cracker. No, it doesn't really have a lot of. It doesn't have a lot of oomph to it, does it? Gives a shit. No, it like, just fuck means it. it's just What's not the, like. like male know. monkey. Like, it'd it's be just funny, funny if I called like my grandma it. Like that'd yeah. be yeah. funny. <laughs> cracker. You should call her male monkey. Yeah. No, cracker and, and honky. Those are Hon yeah, honky. Yeah, honky's a lot better. I think honky's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> honky does but, nothing though. Is there is, <laughs> cracker cra and yeah. honky? Like what? Yeah, neither of them have evil. any weight. They're both like yeah. getting hit with feather pillows. That's like, true. They're, That's true. They're fucking yeah. nothing, dude. <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous. And people are always like, well, if I can't say that, like, well, you can't call me honky. They're equally, yeah, they're equally cool. evil. Yeah. No. Got the same history. <laughs> same. Oh, honky, man. what? <laughs> yeah, this video will be flagged because you said honky. Oh. In a perfect world, we would be strapped to a chain for saying that word and oh. running the ocean. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys something. I have, uh, I had a pair of Sennheisers, right? And I complained about them because the goddamn little cord was too short. Well, now I got some Bayer Dynamics because my Sennheiser. I'm this is gonna be embarrassing. Sennheisers didn't break. The earmuffs got so fucking greasy from my head. Me just sitting there editing and, and just wearing them, looking at porn and stuff, sweating out here in the Florida heat. It got so gross that, like, I, I went to go show Abby something. I was like, hey, put on my headphones. And she looked at him and was like, I'm not putting those on my head. So I got some bare dynamics. The cord is so insanely long on these. I keep getting it all wrapped up in the wheels of my chair. Not good. Now I'm going to... um. I'm I'm seeing right here that Stalt is streaming, and I'm gonna go see what he's doing. Don't worry, I got it. Judge him harshly. Oh, he's got a fedora on, oh, and he's tight. streaming. That's snug. Shadows of doubt. 
If you guys haven't played that game, that game fucking rocks, dude. 6 a.m. All right. I'm fucking around. Hello. Hey, what's up? Is that a new egg shirt? Yeah, I got it from TwitchCon. <laughs> that is such a nerd shirt, dude. It is. Just a cat wearing headphones fr- and it says new egg. It's a free shirt, bro. T- oh, the cat's that- wearing sunglasses. Yeah. It's tied I L yeah. The fucking that- tiger. Yeah. <laughs> new egg. A new egg shirt. I can't think of like a single nerdier <laughs> company to be like, I'm this is my this is my shirt company. This I used to have a shirt, dude. I used to have like a road microphone shirt, but that's like that's like kind of a um a, a more like enough, AV you know? brand, you know? Yeah. Like it's like a creating something, but like Newegg is very much like I that's make I gaming, yeah, shit. gaming yeah. computer I company. Love, I love circuit boards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Ask but, me about my soldering iron. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Stalt's playing Shadows of Doubt right now, and he's got a little fedora on, and he's got a little, uh, he's got a little detective, like, uh, what are those things called? A trench coat? He's got, like, a little trench coat on? His outfit's doing mine, yeah, is putting mine to shame. I just, I just shot, like, a black and white noir detective Yeah, I saw, I saw a glimpse of that, uh. I end up, for the actual thing, I have, like, a suit and everything. But oh, I didn't, for the yeah, video? Yeah, for the video, but I didn't get like a goddamn... I should have gotten a uh, one of those detectives. What are those things called? A trench coat, yeah. Yeah. The problem is is that when people see trench coats, they no longer think Humphrey Bogart. No, they, they no think longer think neckbeard. noir detective. Fucking, they think of school shooters or yeah, fucking they, neckbeard redditors. So well, I was like going to say perverts. Do. They think of perverts, perverts more too. than yeah, anything. Yeah. But... That I forgot flashers. that is absolutely yeah flashers yeah. No. You're talking about tra- uh, long trench yeah long trench coats. coats. It's yeah. still I've got one streaming of shadows of doubt right now, and he's wearing a wear trench them? coat and a fedora and everything. I've got one of those like yeah like long dress like coat things, things ear, from the fifties. That would be perfect if I stream that, but. Stoltz already doing it, so it's kind of now, so yeah, Stoltz got some Raycons. He's got Raycons and a fedora on. <laughs> <laughs> Badass dude. I don't think they're Raycons. I don't know. They're just Logitech earbuds, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> Raycons. I have those, but they didn't really work how I wanted it. <laughs> that sounds like a, like, a, like a nightmare fucking thing to put on when you wake up. I got my Raycons. I got Wait. my fedora. <laughs> I'm good to go. My I'm the most active podcast listener in the world. I always yeah. buy a sponsored item. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh. I stand by Raycons. I don't give a fuck, dude. I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> they were my sponsor. I'm no longer contractually a- con- contractually a- obligated Damn, to them. Spit it out. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. But they gave me free Raycons, and they worked for years, and I don't give a shit. I think they're good. I do like Never. Stolzel outfit right now. He looks like John Constantine with a fedora. Yeah. Raycons, yeah. Very cool. Oh, look at that. God, I feel like playing that game right now. Playing Rust. It's a good no fucking invite. game. Carlos is playing Counter Strike. No, no invite. invite. Fuck. Uh, let's see. Stalt's playing Shadows of Doubt. No, no invite. invite. Bro. Landis yeah. is playing World of Warcraft. No invite. Wait, really? He plays World of Warcraft? Yeah. Him and Aqua have been playing a ton recently. Him and Aqua, all of a sudden, that. they're just like so tight little chummy, friends. Buddy, buddy. Yeah. Actually, better friends than either of us with Aqua anymore. And it's yeah, just what like, the fuck? Not cool. It's a little weird. It's like a... Who do they think they are? It's like what they have more common interests than yeah. me. No fucking way. Why? Like yeah, you'll play why. you'll play World of Warcraft with the, with lettuce, but you won't sit in a Discord call and just uh, talk. Yeah, talk. Yeah, talk. Jokes and poo poo. Yeah. And say, look at Wikipedia with me for a while. <laughs> That's mostly what I'm doing whenever I, when I join when Discord in, calls and you guys are Wikipedia. playing games. Yeah, I'm just reading about, like, you know, like the sack of, of Carthage or something. <laughs> like, it's like not, when I came in the other day, you were playing Shadows of Doubt and you're just like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, uh, you dude, I was into it. Ripped. I had all my, my mind was 100% dedicated to Shadows of Doubt. Barely, no. You get you get really high as fuck, and then you just sit there and stumble around <laughs> trying to be a detective for like. I don't try to be hours. a detective. I am a fucking detective. Dude, my <laughs> webs, my webs are are crazy. You have. Uh, I saw you're making a shadows of the video. Did you buy a cork board with yarn with red yarn? 
I did not. Ooh, but that'd be a I, great visual. That would that would, that would have been, yeah. That would have taken a lot more time and effort it. than I was willing Work to put in. A printer, some red yarn, and a I don't have a, I don't have a print. You know what's and funny? Packs. Printer is Abby works for me, but if I told her, hey, print out all these images, cut them out, and get me red yarn, she would tell me to go fuck off. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, I think you <laughs> fired. Do that. But, Fucking yeah. fired. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend hours on like just a visual background thing. Oh, I guess if I if I used it to like step by step through uh Yo, that'd yeah. be yeah, even better. Yeah. Okay, yeah. As a narrative device, absolutely. But as just a background piece, no, I wouldn't do it. Mm. But narrative device, writing that. You could down. put it behind you while you're streaming it too. Oh yeah, just create uh, a real yeah. life version of it on my <laughs> own cork board. When yeah. this game gets better, dude, if by the way, audience, Shadows of Doubt, it's a detective game. People die in it, and then you are able to like you collect. Out who died. Yeah, you can collect like Ow. DNA evidence. You can do like like fingerprints, fingerprints and shit. Yeah, you can like talk to people and like get witness testimonies and stuff. You can find uh, murder weapons and shit. I don't know. The point is, is that you can end up with a, like a Pepe Sylvia map with like yarn and shit. You can make connections yeah. between different stuff. And um, yeah, I think in the future when it gets more. Yep. Updates even more in depth. And I've heard I've heard tell yeah. mods are in the future. Once Ooh. modders get a hold of that, that gonna it's be... gonna get stanky. Because I'm finally yeah. gonna be able to kill some of these sons of bitches, dude. There's some people in that, my world. That's the biggest flaw. You can't I can't a go from case to case because <laughs> there is a woman that keeps mugging me in the streets. Yeah. She follows me everywhere I go with her little utility knife, and she has mugged me like five or six times. And if you I can't defend yourself, well, she, she asked for a hundred bucks. I give her a hundred bucks. You know, eventually I'm bucking cause she's taken 500 <laughs> bucks from me. So I say, no lady, I've given you enough. She, I have Hershey's. She guts yeah. me and I don't wake up in a hospital. First of all, she doesn't take a hundred bucks when she guts me. She takes 3,600 bucks. I wake up <laughs> in a fucking basement. Not even in a hospital, just in a basement. I think they've taken kidneys or something. And then they're like, if you want to wake up with all of your energy and stuff, it's going to cost an extra 700 bucks. <laughs> and so by the if I resist her, all of a sudden I'm out thousands. But if I go with it, you know, it's like it's like I'm fighting the mafia more than anything. I'm not solving crimes. I'm just dealing with the mafia. Um, but once the the modders come in and, and make it like a utopia, like a, <laughs> yeah, like a... Like Grant Dotto. Yeah, nah, I was I was gonna say more like uh, a Atlas Shrug type, like oh. real stamping down of the the criminals. Yeah. Uh, once my once as a detective, I have like a fleet of like six or seven deputies that follow me <laughs> and just crackheads <laughs> wherever, and real we all have nice PI. brown <laughs> shirts. Yeah, beautiful. Once yeah. I'm running that type of game, I think I'll, I'll enjoy it a lot more. But it as of right now, it's you. it's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. It's really in depth, like honestly, it's crazy the kind of shit you go through to figure shit out. You know what's annoying but, uh, is, I I couldn't even fucking bring myself to explain it in the video, but there is like <laughs> such an annoying little part of this game because it's I guess a voxel game. People keep throwing that word around, which means just Minecraft but smaller. Uh, it's just made with little blocks instead of the big ones. Out of voxels, I had a crime scene where this woman got gutted uh, from navel to neck with a box cutter. And they left her ass crumpled right there in the foyer. Oh. Now, I went in there and I started scanning the walls for fingerprints mm. and such. But it's right there at the front door. The person obviously went doop, doop, doop. And then the person nice. opened the door and they went, surprise, and opened yeah. them up. Their body dropped there. I searched the whole place for evidence, nothing. But then I wait long enough and the cor which is like a day and a half, the coroner gets there, yanks the body out, cleans up the crime scene, takes down all the tape and everything, pulls the bits of like brain and skull out of the carpet. They do all that. When they leave, I go back in there and the fucking murder weapon that has the bad person's fingerprints on it was directly under where the body was. There's no uh. way if the evidence... Because the whole thing's procedurally generated. Yeah. The murder weapon can just fall under the body. <laughs> and you, there's no way for me to pick up the fucking body. My one yeah. huge key piece of evidence was hidden by this fat yeah. lady that died on top of her. Perfect hiding spot. Yeah. Right under. 
But it doesn't matter because I put away the an innocent man. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. A completely unrelated guy went away for life. Yeah. Somebody went down. And I am not. Well, I I was gonna go correct my mistake, quota. but that uh, yeah. it hurts my career. I can't. You know, yeah. it's gonna hurt my my Yelp review. So of course I'm not gonna. Just gotta move on. Yeah, just move on. I'll get him on the next one. I say if I ruin one life but save like four or five or something like that, that's pretty good. It's the even. I mean, it's. I think it evens out. More than evens out. Yeah. Yeah, you're actually as long as for good things every coming your way. One life that I ruin, I save one life by not putting that guy in prison. The right guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're saving him from prison, we so you're automatically a chance. at a yeah. neutral when you put away yeah. an innocent. Oh, man. Yeah. Even kind karma. Of. Yeah. I should yeah. just like. As long as I can pick fifty, <laughs> like one bad guy and then one good guy, one bad guy. One, yeah, I'm taking. I'm thinking about it a completely different way. But yeah, I like it your way, where I just convict with reckless abandon. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> no, it's a bad net guy. Even, yeah, yeah. What is a bad I'm more guy? like a lottery. Yeah, this guy's. Yeah. If he's not guilty of murdering this woman, I'm sure he's uh, done something. Yeah, he's probably yeah. claimed an extra fake child on his taxes or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he's done something stole fucked up. Stole some Altoids. Oh, like one extra yeah. mint at the at the concierge Poison desk. The cat. Yeah. That's actually kind of a crime. That's like a legit yeah. crime. Yeah. Poisoning yeah. a cat. I thought we were listening real crimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, stealing mints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> not paying in more taxes. But I'm still thinking about that. Poisoning a cat. <laughs> that, oh, okay. When I <laughs> if you were to that... pick one that's evil among the three, I think people would go after the cat one. Every Remember time. when I said that yeah. I poisoned the lawn and then a cat ran through it? <laughs> I was oh. like, well, <laughs> fuck, I'm going to kill that cat. It's actually been hanging around. It's, it loves the smell of poison, it looks... but it's like so skittish. But I've been putting cat food out for it every night, and it's become dependent on the. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's already a fucking stray cat, but now it's become appreciative. Mm. And today it left a dead bird on my doorstep. Oh, that's nice. It's right a, where I leave cat food. Yeah, well, it's, thanks. It's a, oh, it's, okay, swap, you leave cat like food. A, I thought there was just lunch. like huffing your poisoned grass. So it was like no, you know, I, laying no, in the I, fumes. I put cat food on my <laughs> okay. porch and then it comes up and eats it and then it fucks off. Gotcha. And today, though, it left me a uh, tribute to that's its That's awesome. To its gods. Yeah. yeah, I would have prefer. I'd prefer like how you know you're good to a crow. It brings you like some shiny Money, shit. Like, yeah, I'd rather yeah. that than a dead bird. Because yeah. also I know stray cats are like bad for the birds, like the ecosystem, yeah. but uh, it's kind of cool because today the cat was just laying in my yard all day. But every time I try to get near it, it fucking bolts. But it's just kind of like now I got a cat in my yard. Yeah, you're yeah. the Pretty feeder, consistent. not yeah. the friend. Yeah, I'm okay with not that because I don't really yeah. want the cat inside because <laughs> I don't think it and Pip would get along because it's the most skittish cat ever and Pip's like. An asshole. Little skittish dog. Yeah, yeah, he screams. Dude. Yeah. One, one pip scream would send that cat into shock. So I think it's probably better for it to be out in the yard. Which is kind of cool. It's just like a little cat. Just like a cool little cat in the area. There's actually three of them, but this one's the most... Cons this is the one that it's ran through the poison, so I'm glad to see I'm the I'm sorry, dude. I'm Tim's looking at... watching a video. Like, I'm I can, watching I can see Stall play. He's like on oh. floor 17. He's been going up a spiral staircase oh. for like 12 <laughs> minutes. Why do you use the elevator? <laughs> And I'm like, I because it's just like the same. Wow, that's the image. most captivating. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. the oh same God, image of flashing. I'm Sorry, like, guys, what the hell is going pay on over there? The podcast. I can fucking see it. Walking up the <laughs> staircase. Okay, you were talking about cats. There's a goddamn lady in my, this neighborhood I grew up in. She kind of alienated herself from like the entire neighborhood because she there was like two cats on the block. I think it was two. That people would kind of let them out and they were kind of outdoor indoor cats. Yeah. And they just came on her property and this lady wow. caught them in a cage and brought them down to the, the pet place and got them euthanized. Was just like, I want these put oh, down. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And she just got two family Why? pets put down. Cause she's a fucking old ass bitch. But then after bitch. that, she was like, why does everybody treat me like shit? It's like, mm. I don't know. Have you ever fucking loved anything? You old yeah. bag. <laughs> And we had leg sweeper, that's, this fucking old lady. That's horrible. Yeah. yeah, she fucking sucked. It was weird how she lived, like, if you're looking at my house, she lived to the left of it. And it was funny how much, like, every neighbor just kind of avoided that house. 
Nobody like went into the oh, yard. They, nobody they avoided it so much. They wouldn't even talk to us, and they avoided us. Is yeah. that where you're going with this? No, yeah. no, no, no. By like extension, proxy. yeah. Um, there were some people that, in the neighborhood that, that were not happy with us once. I was going to say, that yeah. the neighbors probably looked at you as a duo, like, don't yeah. go to that little area. She's mean. Those yeah. people are just low class. <laughs> uh, those kids will eat your yeah. candy bar, your okay, but prize it, candy okay. bar. Oh, fuck. Okay, the person that I said that story about, I, I think now I've realized... One, he's not someone to be fucked with. He works in cybersecurity and he does like white hat hacking. And two, oh, yeah. I think he also kind of listens to the podcast. So try to find yeah, me. Fuck you. Yeah. I he's put up fuck, my okay. Own cyber I'm just saying, our him. family got the most flack from them. They were they lived across the street from us, and they would kind of look down their nose at us because they had a goddamn baby grand in their living room. And they this is like a normal ass, just suburban neighborhood these fuckers put a fountain in their front yard who okay. do you baller think ads. you are fuck oh, off that's, not that's baller this is like a neoclassical fountain baller. like it wasn't a cool fountain it was just like you a the marble great gatsby, dude. Feature, like, what the fuck? yeah it was, yeah, yeah, it was a so, great gatsby like with like cherubs fuck. on it fuck dude. them yeah, I would cool. love yeah, a water no. feature to kind of like hide a water all feature's that grass. one thing, but like a friend's fountain in your front yard, fuck you. Oh, man. Cool. Uh, and they uh friends yeah. fountain, friends scale fucking fountain. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. <laughs> That's okay, it wasn't that Park big. level. <laughs> it wasn't That's like fucking... it wasn't something to go play in. I remember if you guys have ever visited uh the <laughs> the, the Biltmore State. Something like yeah. one of the Carolinas or something. Yeah, it's like you the largest. Go there yeah, shit. I've been there. I I, I've been there multiple I times. Been there. It's like <laughs> the, you went there. Why are you fucking there? That house is crazy. Let me go again. Uh, go? Okay, so I went there as a kid, and then Abby was oh, like, okay, okay. "It was like the vacation Abby planned." Oh and my so, god, what kind yeah. of vacation? Is, no, let's go look at so a nice house. house. Yeah. Crazy. And Sorry. so she was yeah. like, let's go see the largest residential property. I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. like, you, don't want to go see it. a natural wonder. Yeah, anything. don't want to go. Okay, big ass house from uh, the fucking oil tycoon era. Okay. And um, and so we, we go over there and there was like photos and stuff. They had a, a friend's fountain mm. that was like 12 times the size of the friend's fountain. It was just huge. This massive fountain in the front. And there's like, they're, they're talking about the kids in that house. They're like, oh yeah, the kids used to love, they would like wake up, they would eat breakfast in like the, the great eating corridor or whatever, the great eating hall. And then they would run out the front and go play in the big fountain. And I was like thinking about it, like as a five-year-old, it's like going to the goddamn like, like a lake. It was huge. Yeah. It was a massive yeah. a water park. Yeah. 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 Huge ass water park out there. That's kind of, uh, there, I, when I was. In France, there was a chateau that we toured that was like the biggest fucking oh, like the biggest house. Well, she likes off. this. She likes uh, this. It was Fine. like the yeah. biggest house Fine. I've ever seen. And oh man, I'm gonna butcher this. Apparently, I did not learn a lot. No, 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 no don't get out of The entire place shit. was that, like, they, like an recording. informative museum here's, of oh, like. I know you like cats. Here's what there this lady go. did. She, it was a, um, yeah. it was a black woman who was like a spy in World War II for France, but she used to be an American singer. She had a crazy life. And then they adopted like 10 kids from all over the world. And yeah, the house was like, holy shit, if you're a kid, this would be crazy. But now it's like kind of in disrepair. Like I think it fell apart. But like the view is just like a valley with only other massive chateaus in it and stuff. And it was, it was quite cool. I don't remember I was you know, going with I, this, but big I house. Look I look Maybe at think the, of a big house. the ultra wealthy and how they lived even a hundred years ago. I would still choose modern times. I look at all those uh, rooms yeah. and everything, and they have like, like servants' well, quarters, they and they have like dude, they don't even got castle, like a smart you go they got air really conditioning, like, dude. I ain't seen yeah. a single air conditioning invent in that whole house, you, and I'm like, where are the summers like here out here? And in the what Carolinas? do you do when you take a shit? You can't yeah. fucking go on your phone. Yeah, and like I guess if you're yeah. that rich, you can. No, hire I know, like I'd, I'd rather to do a show or something, but I'd rather be middle class now. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and then sure. and then even being like a king and like you know medieval. Well, it's like yeah, back then, it's like a rug oh. was like luxury and like yeah. A nice, They're like, look, like, we got you a purple shirt. It yeah. costs well, a it lot. Would be, it would be kind of baller to have a purple shirt when no one else even saw that color. That'd yeah, be pretty cool. When they see you and go, holy shit, that's royal. That's a whole new wavelength to the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. 
I wonder, uh, yeah, I wonder what kind of king I'd be. I hope I'd be a good one. I'd hope I'd be uh, fair, but I think I'd be, you know. You know, know. what? I'd be a tyrant. The it would tyrant. turn out exactly like the Discord. It would be, it would start out with good intentions, and I would be like, oh, I can fix all this. I can do this. And then it would quickly turn to apathy and indifference. And the then the uh, table and then, would be a bunch of sexual uh, perverts. And yep. And then I would sit, I would sit back like Old Testament God and kind of just go like, yeah, I give up and then not talk. I'd be one of those Bye. kings that yeah. was Bye. good for a year and then I get very sick. And then for the rest of my kinghood, I'm in a big bed with people feeding me little soup spoons. <laughs> like, oh. I would be Robert Baratheon so quick. I, I have this like, little, yeah, oh, give honest, me the whole. I've got this good little king's finger point where I can oh, bend it, where I would go, oh, fix me there. Yeah. You, pr- you practice. Yeah, that, that's dude. very. <laughs> You wouldn't be like a king of the people. You'd be very into the the hierarchy of the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you think non royals can do that? I yeah. can't. Fuck. Yeah, I don't. Because you don't have royal yeah. blood. I can't do it. This means that I'm I not have good at bossing people God. around like you, that. Yeah, I don't know. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta make it like shake too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My goblet is dry. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I. I don't know. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, we should, we should have a podcast where um, we each have a throne and we pretend to be brooding kings, <laughs> but from yeah, varying, from different... Eras? Uh, no, different nations Areas. or whatever, and, yeah, then, we, and yeah. then it's a council meeting. <laughs> and that bit would last for about seven <laughs> minutes. Yeah, and then and it's then just like, like have you yeah. seen... <laughs> Yeah. What kind seen? of porn or movies have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of porn do you have in your kingdom? In. <laughs> you guys, you guys really got good, good plays. Bro, you're gonna yeah. bitch get vacuumed into a cube. Yeah. Like it's like it. <laughs> How's your eroticism over there, yeah. over yonder? <laughs> well, I just installed a floorboard where I put my wife in. Yeah. You don't have a whore hole in your living room <laughs> yeah. floor. A <Oh>, whore. <laughs> Or whore. <laughs> Say that 20 times fast. Yeah. No, we have whore chariots over here. This is completely different. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I race my holes. Oh, wait. Stoltz doing corporate espionage now. What's he doing? Oh, what's he, what's he up to? <laughs> He's I hiding in a cubicle. We should we should fucking call this shit. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. If you done? cut the oh, it's all streaming right now. We're just Again, like, we're just three like, times you've done this. Like, yeah. I, can, I need we're to close it. I need to close it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. If you think we're done, hey, you know what? Right it's now. been two hours right. and twenty minutes. I'm closing it again. Probably got about two hours in that tank. Yeah. After two cuts, now, twenty. After cuts. Two hours and eighteen minutes, I bet. Whoa, shit! It's those, it's those quick bathroom breaks. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, guessing two I, I, hours, eleven minutes. Final cut. Final cut? Are you kidding me? Stolt's gonna ch- Stolt's gonna trim out all our best bits. It'll probably be a minute or an hour and fifty. <laughs> a, minute. <laughs> a, minute. a minute. It's gonna be an That's hour. That's what it is 50, without all our best minutes. bits. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Your highlight. It's gonna be reel. a compilation of us doing the just. <gasps> Like breathing in between oh stuff. <laughs> Every time I never notice it because I can't like hear myself with these. Like anytime I watch back uh, when I'm done talking, a lot of times I'm like, <laughs> I, make this, like, <laughs> Wait, noise. I hate hearing them, and I'm like, oh fuck. So you should probably cut that out because I think it's one of those things where like once you notice it, you kind it, of, it drives you I nuts. Just, yeah, I, now yeah. I try. I actively try to when I'm done with a sentence, Every- but I don't notice. I can't the hear that. Up. I'm like. Uh, like I'm just like <laughs> I'm just kind of like waiting for either my turn to talk or for me to think of something. I, I hear you do it and I go, does he want to jump in? Is he looking for another jump in point? <laughs> he like wasn't I'm salivating. Yeah, for, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's one of the brain things. Conversational I think response. Of something and I if I don't say it right, then I'm gonna forget it. So I start I start preemptively. Uh, like that's your vo- it's your verbal <laughs> version of like make room people. I'm about to fucking about to let something loose. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little, uh, little scratch in there. Yeah. I should start. Yeah, I need to find a new thing, a new noise to make that's more pleasing. <laughs> Something I don't know. You know what? Or I had a great it. thing to end on, and then I completely forgot what it was. So <laughs> let's go ahead and call it. <laughs> All right. It was like I. 
<laughs> it was, was like it? the yeah. funniest closing bit it's ever. Boy, you can't but earlier. instead, <laughs> instead we're just going to turn off the recording. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh man. Classic. It was good, though. But think yeah. of something really funny, guys. Like, Next. right after this ends, go like, Damn, that's a funny something. In next episode, we have our biggest guest yet, guys. So don't cancel those subscriptions. He's coming. Uh, I don't know. I'm literally <laughs> biggest. We. I've been trying yeah, to get a hold of. Basically, yeah. the biggest guest we've <laughs> ever had. I've been uh, trying yeah. to get a certain type of guest on, and it's not. Oh, uh, it's not it? happening. Yeah. Don't spoil it, but yeah. And then also, Mr. Beast has been in contact with our people, yeah. but. And I'm just trying to find like an astrology girl. I fuck. That would I know. Be I know a ton of those. Or like, or like a fortune teller. Or I've something. got the look oh, that fortune attracts teller would be funny. astrology that would girls. Be then was, that seems like your kind of crowd, honestly. I, I don't love it, but I'm wearing a big fucking Aquarius ring, so there are people. Uh, yeah. all, I'm kind of a false flag for it, but then when you get into it, I'm always like, oh jeez. And also, does it help that I'm like the stereotypical, like one of the worst ones for a, a man to be? No. Oh, really? Is it? What's the I'm, a Gem- I'm a Gemini. It's not the worst one, but it's like... Gemini, man. That's a movie. It like, actually... And it demon. sucks, though, too, because every time I talk about it, I'm like, I don't believe in this shit. I'm like, but I do feel like I, I'm two different people when I'm on the podcast and when I'm not. And oh, people are always like, that's... You're, you are a Gemini? Yeah. I think it's... Maybe it's a self-fulfilling prophecy because you know what it is. I didn't know what it was yeah, when I was when I shoes. started this shit. Yeah, I you saw the date, shoes. And I you did, filled you, them. Once you once you date one astrology person, you learn your run through. I know my entire fucking chart. Uh, it's unclean though now. Anytime someone asks, they got like, like a well, new. Don't they have like a new version of the chart now? Yeah, they, like, everything's oh, skewed. Fuck, there's an update, dude. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah they found a new constellation. There's a huge there. breakthrough. I'm not even a Leo anymore. World. I'm like some sort no of way. new thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they changed. Yeah, it. that's, well, that's why I've had a huge personality. I I changed my personality. You are such a Leo. No, not anymore. Not anymore. I used to be. Year ago, I was a Leo as fuck, but now I'm a I'm a whatever. You know, Leo is my. Most compatible. It's my shit. moon, uh, which means mean? you have a big three, and okay. Leo's my second one. And this is where it's like when they explain it to me, I'm like, do you hear yourself? Because yeah. like your first one is what you are. Uh-huh. Your second one is like how you act. And then your third one's like how people see you or something. It's like all a bunch of ways to what I, I theorize is just to be more like, I am like that. or I, I am more yeah. do this. Yeah. But some of the astrology, stuff, you know, everything they say is like a shotgun blast of, I of yeah, things shit, to relate yeah. to. Yeah. I don't like to, really I don't like to shit on it too much, yeah. though, because I have a lot of friends that are into it. And I just have to be like, that's yeah, okay. totally real. And I believe you and you're awesome. I actually, and you. Yeah. Did I lose my wedding Here's ring? It's, I'm fortune cookie. <laughs> Ladies. Oh, it's, such a, yeah, it's such a Leo moment, dude. Toss yeah, the Leo. wedding ring to the floor. I don't know where it went. Dude. I literally just had it on my dude, hand. Dude, you are like, I, I'm, I it's like I'm watching his mind deteriorate live, dude. He's forgotten uh, so know, much Brian, shit. It's not going to be he the same in a ring. couple years. <laughs> this is so sad to watch. What are you wearing? I saw you wearing it. Who are you guys? Yeah. There was dribble What's in your happening? face. <laughs> You, you, you didn't know. shake enough. You've got piss no, all over have, you. I don't have piss shit. Like Bro, I saw, you flipped off your fucking neighbor, and I saw the ring. Where the fuck did it go? Like it's, I don't know. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. It slipped off your finger. So anyways, ladies, I'm out here. I'm available. And he's uh, Leo. Not good I looking. Think. Don't make love very good. Don't, don't say can't, that. Don't can't say that. Cook. Don't well, you can't uh, go. Why? Where there's a can't. but, there's a catch, there's a something, right? But you do oh, make got a lot some of money. money. Got yeah. some money. <laughs> Makes there you a lot go. Of money. That's all they need. Got some money. Um, I am worried. I'm tomorrow. I have to. I, I have nothing else have, to offer. I probably yeah. shouldn't have started off shitting on astrology, oh. people. I am going on a date tomorrow with. I'm pretty sure a person bitch. that's into astrology, uh, and it's like. Ask him about the new astrology thing. I don't want. To, I guess fuck that is conversation. No, if if, they, yeah, if they if they're like, hey, I'm into astrology, be like, I've heard there's some new astrology on the blog. What are yeah. the new updates? Well, yeah. And then I go, yeah. Oh, <laughs> my head. I've I'm heard really there's good like at- the big notes. astrology decide yeah. that they want yeah. to make a lot more money. Breaking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a 
because uh, all those fucking like uh, tarot cards uh, and bullshit that go along with it, they now get to make a new version of. Sorry, them. I'm into spirit animals. Okay, I'm not into that bullshit. I like my old fashioned. I'm a osprey. Okay, I might. This is once again off topic. Oh, sorry, I've got two more minutes of the date thing. It's always awful when you have to first. I have to get it. It's going back also to like I'm not ashamed of my job, but. You're telling it to a dude at the bar versus like a woman that you want to have sex with is two very different things. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like it to be like maybe a third date topic, but it's always like, what do you do for a living? It's like kind of like an icebreaker. It's kind of like <laughs> yeah, one of the kind of, a... kind of one of the things people want to know about you right away. Yeah, right away. What's your main yeah. occupier? It's like, of what time? If, I, if I'm like a grave digger? They want to know right away. But yeah. uh, so uh... that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna deal with that tomorrow. Um. Fuck, what was I just oh, talking fucker, about? Dude, she I believes just in had astrology, a... man. Yeah, yeah, shit what she thinks. <laughs> no, dude. dude, that's not... <laughs> what is, dude? What is, I mean, besides... I know a lot of people that are like... You know, they're cool, normal people, but then they also just happen to... It's when you get to the point where you start like... When it controls really your life. judging people off of it. Yeah. yeah. Then it's like... Because you really break it down with a lot of people. They're like, well, it's just like a fun thing I do. But then some people are like... I'm not Genuinely. Yeah, yeah, or like they use it to like shape their view of people i'm like maybe you should just fucking talk to the person a little i you know i've heard it broken down to a simpler term and it's just um they're like you know some of this stuff kind of it's heavily weighted towards (laughs) when you were born were you first experiencing in your life really hot temperatures or really cold temperatures and it's like if and basically what they're that's how my that's how we were back Mm -hmm. Like, like the like, winter I'm a summer time. baby, my mom's a yeah. winter baby, you know. We know these differences. Yeah. And they nope. say that there's like oh. there are some subtle personality differences based especially if you live in a place that has like extreme temperature differences. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I, I go, that makes more sense than going like this, but the star and then the stars are like this. Think yeah. about how the moon affects water. Think how much water's in your belly. Right. Yeah. Or whatever. I can't remember what they say about the science, but I was going to also mention the spirit animal shit. Also, you know, like I'm not even Native American. I went to a Native American church when I was a baby because my parents were into this whole thing. We used to go to a bunch of powwows and stuff because they're my mom's like barely. And when we got our spirit animals, my dad was telling me the other day, he's like, I basically stopped being interested when I got mine because it's quite possibly the lamest thing you could possibly get and i had i had totally forgot this but his oh nice you found it his is basically it was under my tivas i think it's when he realized like this isn't like a real native american thing going on here because the guy told him his spirit animal was a walking stick (laughs) (laughs) i can't imagine how disappointed because yeah. I at least got like a bro. cool animal, like an osprey, and I every time I see him, I'm like, that's in a cool little like uh, <laughs> one cool thing that's happened since that is like he had a personal I, grudge against your dad, dude. Yeah. There's no yeah, way. Yeah, 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 my dad's stick, not like a flat. Like my dad's like a very expressive, like funny guy. <laughs> yeah. like, a walking stick, like that's such a gut punch. My brother is always pissed because he got like tortoise, and um, the tortoise I'm, is badass. Or maybe it's all wise turtle. And shit. <laughs> Which is a little uh, less cool. Yeah, yeah. it's a little bit less. Tortoises Dumb live a turtle, long time. Box turtle. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Osprey is cool. And I've definitely mentioned this before, but when I did, when the Harry Potter game was coming out, I did the like, how, like on Potter more, like I did the like, what's your, what's your spirit animal in Harry Potter, basically? And out of all the shit, I got an osprey, which I thought was weird. Oh, Cause I'm like, I didn't even, like, that's such a, like, not a super common animal. I, you wouldn't think they'd have it even in the thing, and I got it, and I was like, "That what a coincidence!" It's just a cool little coincidence. Cause that is a cool I mean, J.K. Rowling's a fucking culture. J.K. Rowling probably stole it yeah, from yeah. them. I don't, I don't well, know. I know, but dude. it's like I did like a twelve question thing, and then it popped out like your animal yeah. is. It was like os- like osprey. I'm like, what the fuck? 
And That's now cool. you're like 100% a believer. Well, I don't even know what that means. Like, that <laughs> now like, you're a believer. What, you're my, like, my, wait, there's wait, natives guys, what are right. I'm not even like a big water or fishing guy. Like, I don't know. Yeah, of I'm course not, you're not a water or fishing okay, guy. You're a goddamn osprey. Test, you're up there in the clouds, no, baby. No, they're, oh. e they're a fishing eagle. Yeah, they swoop are down they? there to get a meal, but they live up in the clouds. Well, they were always in lakes and <laughs> sizing them on buoys. And, yeah, the, yeah, actually, yeah Osprey, this, they, they always just, the, got, they just stand up on a branch and look down at the water, yeah. don't they? Yeah. yeah. I don't really know yeah, what attributes so. I would You guys brought up uh, tortoises earlier, just like a second ago. But, <laughs> or way earlier. Yeah, I just I read yeah. something crazy that I it blew my mind how long tortoises live. Uh, 300 year, 200 years, 180 years. Uh, okay, billion, okay, you're yanking, years. you're yanking a lot of the wind out of my sails here. But oh, sorry, uh, Charles, no, Charles Darwin owned a tortoise, a Galapagos yeah. tortoise, and you know he lived and died and everything. Uh, and then he ended up, uh, God, what's the fucking guy's tortoise name? The crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin also owned the same tortoise. Like that tortoise lived from Charles Darwin's time. <laughs> All the Sweet. way until uh, until Irwin owned it. That's dope. That's an old ass crazy, turtle yeah. tortoise. Have you ever yeah, seen yeah, a is. truly giant tortoise? No, but my I brother did get salmonella from a tortoise. I think. I saw one at a zoo that was like. Is that what you have to watch? I didn't know that. I genuinely about? didn't know they could become so huge. It was like. I mean, most animals at a zoo. I remember How like, big? holy fuck, I right. Uh, I don't want to like get this wrong. It was like. <laughs> It was like Ottoman sized, if not bigger. Like it was, I gotta look up like biggest tortoise. It's probably not the biggest, biggest tortoise, tortoise in Indiana. It was in a, it was in Florida. They don't oh. keep tortoises here. Uh, I want a tortoise. One hundred and fifty years. Okay, I was, I was a little off. One hundred and fifty. Yeah, one hundred and fifty yeah. years old. Dude, they're big. They they just look up big ass tortoise. You can just see like some of them are just fucking. They're like cars. They're, they're way bigger than I thought they're they like could ATVs be. Or some shit. When I was a they're kid, crazy. I wanted a tortoise because I thought the idea. Well, I wanted a parrot or a tortoise because they were the two longest living animals I knew of. Of like, you know, a parrot can live like 80 heartbreak. years. Like, no, I could be like, I could have this my entire life and I could give it to my kid. And it'll be like a family heirloom, like a living heirloom. I'm so fucking glad my parents didn't let me get a parrot because there was like a phase where I really wanted one. That we I couldn't. I don't have the capacity to handle for my entire life. Yeah. I can barely handle this dog yeah. having a creature that's like, ah, ah, yeah. ah, and like banging on the fucking thing, and like it I would have become it right a now. real subservient relationship it real quick. Be, I'd be like, would yeah. be stay like, the fuck out of my way. <laughs> I, would, I would own it my entire life. <laughs> yeah, from the time I'm a child, like. Honestly, there's not many things like that where you can have a pet that lives forever. Like it would be kind of cool like if a it pet lived rock. with you. Your whole yeah, pet yeah, rock. Yeah. But like, you could have a long time. <laughs> It's Chia just pet. crazy to have something Chia, that yeah. if you get new seeds, long. Tamagotchi. A chia pet, if you treat it right, is kind of like a forever stew where you can keep it going oh, forever and ever. True, I didn't know that. Uh, I like, guess if you keep putting seeds on it, I don't can know. Can you eat chia pet? <laughs> yeah, you can product? eat chia seed. Abby keeps buying new fucking weird shit to put in my food. I think she's trying to, to like find like a legal way to to kill me. To kill you. And <laughs> she's, she keeps feeding me like chia seeds and. Bleach and ammonia. And yeah, weird stuff. Arsenic berries. I don't know what the fuck those are. Yeah, I've never heard of those. They make yeah. my brain hurt, though. I, mean, I can't think good anymore. Uh, that's, turn you that's, to that's what's happening. Sign this. Sign yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think I'd be really fucked if, but thank God, my I can't write anymore. My hands have I've lost motor yeah, I've function. I've written on a yeah. paper, yeah, in years. I'm completely brain dead. God, I can't write. It's like I've had a stroke. I can't even write yeah, I anymore. Like once a month, I'll like pull out the notebook <laughs> and like start writing some shit. You know, some passages or whatever. Yeah, some biblical yeah. reiterations. Limericks. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, lyrics for my album. <laughs> and the first like two sentences is always like, "Jesus Christ, you might have like a learning disability." <laughs> like, I, wrote... I just my handwriting's already bad, and then when I yeah. take a break, like. Oh. Dude, yeah, I wrote pen on paper for one page and my hand was so sore. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Dude, any that, more like, than signing like, a, a receipt. Like high school, you're really writing for like a test, like half to write. Yeah. Just like, oh, yeah. oh, fuck. And then, yeah, now it's like I'm so out of the game. Uh, yeah. Type, like I barely type that much. 
when we were at the bar, Double I was like, six. I was like signing my name on a receipt, and you're like, just fucking do like a oh, line. Well, yeah, because yeah, he wasn't actually Sam, real, Sam got dude. the receipt, like was like, what's the math here? Okay, and then he like did his perfect signature. I'm like, <laughs> dude, you literally just write the uh, the total and put a fucking or like, write the tip, put a fucking slash through the total, and then just yeah. go like. Whoosh. And he's like, "What? No, I have to sign. It's my signature." I'm like, "They don't even read that shit. They just fucking." Yeah, just... I don't, it's the only time I get to write my goddamn name. It was just right? taking forever. I was like, "Let me do it, goddamn!" Like, I'll buy taking the next, forever. You, the you next were like, drink. you were like doing something else at the time. <laughs> Let me do my thing. Let me write. It was pissing me off. It was just inefficient. I could. I saw a way to. You speed weren't it even up. like waiting in line for something. You're yeah, just, just standing there, and I, I was minding like my own it. business, writing my own it, yeah. name. I think if the guy <laughs> doing my own arithmetic. checking you out was like doink. <laughs> Doink. Do like you just pissed me off just by like proximity. Yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't I wasn't buying a drink for you. Yes, yeah. you one of them was for me. You could have so walked away with it. I already had it, but I was like, yeah. God damn. There's, there's no line or anything, but it's just like good <laughs> etiquette just to learn that if you if it were more crowded. Just put some diary on it. Just I'm not I'm never yeah. gonna be in a crowded place. I'm I'm perfectly fine with like Twitch five people to talk to. No. Yeah, when I'm in there, I shut off my mind. We went I really... to that fucking bar in Soho <laughs> and I was immediately like, okay, he's not gonna when they took the chairs, I'm like, oh, we gotta we gotta go to the casino. Yeah. Uh, oh not... I wait, okay, okay. While we were there, I don't think we mentioned this last time. We were at some bar in like Ebor. Right, and that where it was, was no. Soho. Soho? And, uh, I'm, yeah. I, I think of Soho. I think New York. What? The, there's yeah, a Soho down there. Yeah, I guess. What the mm -hmm. fuck? Okay. Anyways, it was so, the Soho. Soho district. Okay, so anyways, we're in the Soho district, but not Babe the cool City. one. We're talking about down in Tampa. It was pretty cool. It was, <laughs> a lot of the milk. Soho yeah. in Tampa, way cooler than Manhattan one. But um, while we were there, that. These like people that were working for some seltzer company or something. Oh, whoa, what was the find that? Yeah, what? what was the name Fuck, of this? What were those called? Like this, dirt, 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 yeah, dirt, 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 dirt water. Yeah. Dirt. Uh, this, these people came up. It was like a lady with like a phone and some dude that was holding a bunch of cans, and she was like, "Hey guys, do you want some neutrals? Neutrals yeah, and that was yeah. neutral, yeah, yeah, yeah neutrals." And and we we're like, "What?" And she was like, Free, "Like you can have these drinks." If you yeah. let us take yeah, I was a like, what's photo, what's the catch? Yeah, yeah. I'm like what do we got to do? And just a photo. <laughs> yeah, she took oh, like fuck. multiple photos of yeah. us. You're on their fucking website. It dude. wasn't just once. Look. It was like yeah. hold them up and like. Yeah. It was like, and can you hide that other drink? You yeah, are gonna like, have to put away your other drinks. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. can you make a face? I'm like, wouldn't it be more natural if we didn't look like we were posing for the biggest <laughs> yeah. promo photo ever? Yeah. <laughs> but okay, yeah. Let me not. But look like I a ate person. that shit up because I knew I was like, is there? There's a chance they tweet this image, and there's yeah. just yeah. me. I'm in the you. middle, just like, <laughs> like holding <laughs> it up. Like it's my favorite company, and yeah. it's just fucking like shit water. It tastes horrible. Do you feel like they're gonna pick the groups of beautiful women there that also took the promo, but they nah, might. They'll pick, pick us. us. That way they'll they get us. They want to yeah. relate to the We're normal the, like, everyday diversity man. hire. Yeah, 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 for the for the pictures, they're like, look, we even even dumb fucking losers <laughs> with no bitches in their group <laughs> at all. You can drink this noise. and have a fun time. Look how fun they are. Yeah. You know what would be great is if we find the picture and they have photoshopped me out and replaced, yeah. <laughs> and replaced me with a hot you. tape. Yeah. With a supermodel. Yeah. Like Kate Upton filter. was with us. Look, He's there's drinking four it. dudes yeah. drinking with this hot tape. That would <laughs> actually, if, that, if they photoshopped me out, that it would so like good. completely, like I feel like I've got a decent skin with like, someone's like, you're an ugly piece of shit. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. But if they did that, I'd be like, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm, uh, I'm I'm never gonna be able yeah, to like, I would, be I would, confident. Again. I would find the photo and then I would I would uh, <laughs> laugh on this podcast, but I would cry and cry. And, but, and I, tears are already coming to my eye. They yeah, face at you. Just the handsome thought of the filter. theoretical. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They hit me with a handsome filter. That would <laughs> put a beard on you. I'm the only one they fuck with in the entire group. <laughs> What if, what if they just? What if it was just like an ugly guy, but he was just a little bit better? Like it was just no. like a, they just, no, well, they, like just were, a, they fucking swapped me out for like Michael Sarah or something. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, come on, dude. Jesus. Oh, why? 
would, would be, be less offensive if it was like a giga chad but if it was just some guy yeah like, yeah it's like oh. an uglier dude what's that yeah. weasel thing from suicide squad oh yeah they just put that fucking weasel uh I think his name is just weasel yeah all right yeah I, i'm done hey, here I want to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> go to sleep. Yeah. It's 12:26. Okay, uh, weasel reference. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>